Uh, actually, that ties in with what I was going to say about the uh, my next thing, the rugby. Did you see that player? For, uh, what's his fucking name? Um, in France, he knocked out the. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Bro, Brom, uh, Bromwich from. Uh, oh, he bought coke in Canberra. Yeah, boy, got caught doing coke. Dude, the CEO of the Sharks got caught buying co- doing coke. Really? Yeah, man. Of <laughs> Cronulla Sharks. Hey, rugby's in turmoil, man. Dude, in the past week, four cunts have been caught doing coke. Do you know what pissed me off about that thing with the the cunt from Melbourne? Do you know what he got? Two games and a two thousand five hundred dollar fine. He got caught doing coke. Two game suspension. What, you think that's not harsh enough? Dude, he got caught doing coke. He's the captain of New Zealand, dude. Yeah. He's the he, captain. He got caught. Was it, was it him and a teammate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They Kevin, lost. Kevin they Proctor. Got high. It was the Anzac match. Australia versus New Zealand. He yeah. got caught doing coke. And in Canberra of all places. Yes. <laughs> Two game suspension, $2,000 fine. Are you out of your mind? Like, I like the Melbourne Storm, but that's not good enough, Jesse Bovich. That's not okay, good think enough. Think about it like this. If a player got caught turning up to training smashed off his head. Lawrence Angwin for Carlton and fucking, um, they, they rocked up on ecstasy. Dude. And they got asked straight yeah, away. They got shafted. What was his name? Carl. The Collingwood Sorry. player that got done. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some hack. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they said it was the meat. <laughs> yeah, it was the meat. Yeah, the two players in New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it was the meat. It was the meat that was tainted. Yeah. But everyone else ate the same fucking meat. Like Johnny. Ecstasy injected Johnny, meat. You turn up to work. You turn up to work. You do a random drug test. It comes up positive for, for coke. Methamphetamine. You? <laughs> I try and sweet talk my way out of it, first of all. How? No, nah, get escorted out. See you later. Get your shit. Get cops out of up. our building. Yeah. If you ever get caught within 200 metres of the building, you're going to jail. Yeah. They won't call the cops on you, but they'll get yeah. out. You're gone. We don't ever want to see you ever here ever again. Mm-hmm. Fight on the spot. Dude, fucking rugby league player. Like, captain. And yeah, now he's getting counselling. Counselling? But he wasn't high while playing, and coke does get out of your system very quickly. Dude, you're caught doing an illicit... It's not like it was drink driving. Uh. Drink driving. He was caught with an illicit substance. What is it that people don't understand about illegal substance? It's a criminal act. Uh. It's criminal. It's a, you're not allowed to have this on you. Uh. If you're found with this on you, you can go to jail. It's like, oh, it's not that bad. It's only a bit of coke. Like, th- no, actually, it is. It's, a, it's, yeah. an it's actually quite bad. Yeah. <laughs> Would you walk into your primary school and fucking, oh, yeah, here's my wallet, keys, grand bag. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> here's my crash sweet puff crack pipe. No, no, no seriously. <laughs> That's yeah. what, it pisses yeah. me off when people play it down, man. Yeah. I was playing devil's advocate, but no, if you put it that way, it's no, true, no. it's true, it's illegal. Play, play yeah, devil's it's illegal. advocate, yeah. and that's the thing, it's like weed, yeah? Like yeah. You call, and I can argue with you, look, we can argue the plus components for weed all day long, and I can do it myself, and I'm not a mm. fucking drug user. But Coke? Mm. It's an illegal truck. Yeah. <laughs> Two mm. days off. Two days off. Mm. Is that right? It's not right. That's not right. That's not right, man. Hashtag that's not right. Considering <laughs> if you get caught if you get caught striking a dude, dude, the fucking Toby Green. He got two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Smacking a dude in the jaw. Punching a guy in the face. Yeah. Yeah, and this guy got two weeks for Counterpart coke. Counterpart in the NRL, he got two weeks off for doing an illegal drug. Uh. And part of his match payment. <laughs> Big deal. Which is like... Two and a half grand. Like What's we- two grand? Yeah. What's two grand? He would have lost it driving to work anyway. Yeah. I don't know. It's just me. I just yeah, saw it yeah. quickly and I'm like, is this for real? Like, I thought that was nuts. So what are you thinking? Ban or something? Or... Dude. Straight up ban? Like- straight up something. Well, that's the thing. Straight like in. Like in um, but even in AFL we get three strikes. Right? Yeah, but that's the thing in the AFL. It's even more secretive, even more fucked because they won't tell you. They won't tell you who it is. No, yeah, it's apparently, his buddy apparently was on his third strike as well. Yeah, that's yeah. why I shipped him to Sydney. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no <laughs> shit. Clean over here, acting Sydney boy. Yeah, but yeah. they sent him to the cross because yeah. Hawthorne couldn't. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck. Yeah, Hawthorne couldn't put up with his shit. Now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Dane Swan, Dusty Martin, do you reckon these guys are not on it? Come on, man. Yeah. Dane Thanks. Swan, Dane Swan, fucking won the brown on ecstasy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and then they want to talk about like tightening the, the the shackles on every other aspect of life, but the footy players seem to get away with it, like just because. Disclaimer: What we say on that's not right. <laughs> Dane Swan did not actually win yeah. the Brownlow on. No, ecstasy. we love Dan Swan. Swanny, <laughs> vote one Swan. <laughs> but dude, it's like well, I'm thinking about the Essendon saga. Like that was a banned substance, illegal, right? And they got that for a year. So what's the difference? There is no difference. That's the point. Because one is recreational, one's, one's performance, performance enhancing, enhancing, one's re- yeah, exactly. Yeah, but still. Yeah, but one one won't directly affect the, the, what happens on the field. Yeah. yeah. Even though, like, if you're on he'll get fucking, performance in the bedroom, but he won't get performance anywhere yeah, else. You got a cokehead, and you rock up the training, just pinging off your head again, like uh, Dirk Diggler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dick's ready. <laughs> I mean, what? What do you mean? What state? State of California? I don't know where the fuck I am, Jack. 
<laughs> Dude, Philip Seymour Hoffman in the background, yeah. hugging himself Just and hugging crying. Himself, he's got oh, that fucking hilarious. <laughs> Dude, we were... how mad was that? Yeah, I great. knew you'd love it. As soon as you saw his face. Oh. What's this thing about? You said rugby player in France. What happened? Oh no, I just saw it on the news. He, oui, oui, oui. He's getting Hello, a life. Li- <laughs> they reckon he's going to get a life ban. For what? Because uh, eating croissants <laughs> on the field with notches. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, oh, he, um, man, cheese and Danish cheese, yeah, cheese and Danish pie, man. Oh, that would kill cheese it. and Danish pie. Yeah, what the, the Danish it? Danish um cheese Danish. Yeah. You know what cheese Danish is? Yeah, no. it's like a croissant. With cheese, they fold it and they, they fold it over. Oh, I don't have, have one, but that sounds good. Yeah, they've got a nice French bakery down here. Nothing like a, like a fresh hot croissant with lashings of butter and jam for me. <laughs> Do you know what I've been shit. eating? I've been sick like the last week, like even more so. <laughs> Scone. Because of this cream. Oh, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> you know what his advice was once? I was sick as a dog. I was leaving work and I called him up. Some trolling advice, probably. No, 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 no. I go, man, I feel fucked. Like, I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. I'm lethargic. He said, he goes, go to, go to Baker's, buy some bread, man. Yeah. Buy some fresh bread. Get butter, load. Then get butter. And just eat Dude, bread and butter, man. I, Bread's the best. Like I bread. buy, now I'm buying knot rolls, yeah. fresh, going home, covering them in butter. And just, that's good, it. Yeah. And that's Slamming it. Them. I love a good knot roll. Yeah, oh. but that, that's what I'm saying. Just bread and good butter. Mm. Uh, good bread and good butter. And then you're set, man. Yeah, nothing beats it's it. It's made me feel better, that's man. So yeah. yeah, That's what's going to be my breakfast this morning. See, Trauma doesn't always troll. <laughs> okay, I'll give you this one. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. Sorry. This what French about cheeking? Was the French dude actually going to cop? No, nah, uh, they reckon he's going to get a life ban, an, an actual criminal, like, because the referee gave him a decision, like, not his way. He rocked up and just dropped him, dude. Like, I'm talking straight out dropped him. I'll try and find the video. On like, field? Well, punched his, on punched the field. Ref. Yeah. And then people tried to jump on him, and then he started going at the other team, started losing at his mates. Fucking full lost it. And he's like, is he on fight. coke? Uh, uh, maybe. Uh, do you know what that reminds you of? Uh, did you hear about Calambaris? <laughs> oh, did you see the video? I you don't. pushed it. I could have stopped laughing. I fucking... Wait, who's Calambaris again? George Calambaris, the guy from MasterChef. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the short squat. I don't, I don't like dude. George. Oh, he's I, a wank. I don't like him. Dude, did you see what he did? You Matty see... Preston, on the other hand. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you're fucked. You yeah. didn't see what he did. George, he no. was at the A-League uh, final between Melbourne and uh, Sydney. Okay, who won that, by the way? Sydney. Oh. They went to penalties, I think, and uh, okay. Sydney won. Yeah, in the crowd, they were giving George Calambaris shit. You know how he got done for the... Um, not paying his staff. Yeah, yeah. He owed like $2 million or something to unpaid wages. And the crowd were going at him, going, go pay your staff, pay your staff. Like they were chanting shit at pay him. Pay your staff. He cracked the shits, walked up to one of the spectators and like got into a push and shove with him. He goes, oh, huh? Huh? George. <laughs> Dude, I just laughed. What are you going to do, George? I laughed at the idea of George in his fucking chinos and his like tight, shoes. Tight chinos. Yeah, and his shoes, his glistening ball head. Alligator trying shoes. To, trying to shirt, shirt <laughs> front of A big dude. burly fucking... Yeah, dude, oh. who would have punched the living fuck out of me? <laughs> like, seriously, you're a chef. George. Go cook me a soup. Like, get the fuck out of my way. But this entitled cunt, because of his status, thought he could go up there. Like, dude, people are going to chat. That's it. You know what, man? And that's the thing with, with sports fans especially, and Melburnians, and Aussies in general. We don't let shit go. What's this? This is the video of the rugby player. Hang on. Oh, of course it's an ad. No, it's an ad. That's of a course it is. Brilliant, brilliant ad. Is it for something French? Yeah. I don't know. Could have queued up the ad already, trolling. <laughs> Whatever, jeggings. <laughs> Jeggings. You're never letting that one Bob go. Bob Jeggings. <laughs> Robert, Mr. Robert Jeggings. <laughs> what a name, man. <laughs> Robert Jeggings. That's uh, Johnny's, uh, one of Johnny's many alter egos. Uh, this psycho, man. What's going on What's here? Going on here? Oh, I'm getting frequency again, man. Bad gateway. I love iPhones, man. Do we actually have to watch No, yeah, 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 you do. Why? Just it's not an iPhone thing. You it is, just leave it. Just leave it. Let it play. It's, it's not. It's it's the actual news coverage. Yeah, they they it. they're just draining my data. That's what they do. They drain it. All right, ready? And I love it for USA. Trump. All right, ready? Who's? Oh, mate, brutal man. Oh! Wait, look, wait for it. Wait for it. Look at this. This guy takes on everybody. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the refs are gone. Dude, gone. Is that a hammer fist, the first Dude, one? Dude, no, no, no. Oh! And he, did, he was motionless. They had to carry him off on a stretcher. He was fucked. And then he took on the other team, and his teammates were trying to fucking... Dude, that's fucked. Dude, that's under 20s. He will never play rugby for the rest of his life. He will never play sport, competitive sport for the rest of his life now. For one, for one mad fucking moment like that, gone. That's on. Fucked. Gone. Good night, Charlie. 
Dude, that was Charlie. a punch and a half, man. That, that, was, it, it was really far from my view. Was it like a hammer fist? No, he's just throwing his fucking oh, solid like, right hook, hook, man. Okay. Just straight into the guy's yeah. jaw. It was unbelievable. It's yeah, not right. That wasn't right. That was fucked up. That's fucked. Jesus. Wee, wee, wee. No, no, no. French cunts, man. They're nuts. It's cargo. It's cargo. I don't See if you can tear up the Callum Barge video, man. Oh, yeah. You'll die. Johnny, it's the funniest thing. Just this little stout dude fucking running over, trying to, like, puff his chest up and push a dude. That's what I was saying. Little man syndrome to the max. Dude, Aussies, we don't let shit go. And, like, especially supporters, man. They make people know, like, aware of what they know or yeah. what they think. Yeah. We don't hold back. Yeah. So, George, and he, it's, he was admitted guilty, like, as in, he knows he fucked up. Yeah, exactly. Underpaid his weight Just deal with it, George. It's like, yeah, dude, you owe someone, like, you owe a lot of people yeah. a lot of money. Did like, the wrong thing. Yeah. yeah. So then he thinks he's going to fucking, like, oh, I didn't expect to be copying shit. It's like, yeah, you're going to cop shit. Of course you are. You're a public figure. Yeah. You're underpaid. Up, in Melbourne. Who, who doesn't get torn apart? Dude, we'd get torn apart. If like, you I, leave your football club for another team, you get torn apart, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> fucking heads, man! You know what? Go fuck yourselves! <laughs> Where's the white noise when we need it? <laughs> uh, tell me this brings it up. If it's gonna be another ad, I'm gonna cry. Dude, I'm crying right now. This fucking ad with the babies wearing the spectacles. Outstanding organization. Big W! Bunch yeah, of babies wearing the Yeah, fuckers. man, look! Yeah. What's, what the fuck's that? W ad. Mother's Day. Uh, when is it? Sunday. Sunday. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Look at him. He oh, walks, like pacing. He walks into the crowd and goes up to some dude. What is him? Look how big that guy is. He's like a foot taller than him. Look at him. The guy's looking around like, what's your problem? And Colin Barra scurries off to a security guard. Yeah. Look at him. Like, come on, George. What are you going to do, dude? Look Honestly. how small he is. It's like Danny DeVito. Yeah, he's tiny, yeah. Dude, DeVito could beat the shit out of him. Yeah. But see how he comes off the field like he's the, an entitled like field marshal. Yeah. yeah, just ranting and raving like. Yeah. I always said though, I just feel like he's a bit of a cockhead. Dude, like, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a Greek in Melbourne. You know what? Money. We, we making two. Was it Gazi? Gaza? Uh, Gaza. Gazi. Is yeah. that the one in the city? Gazi's the one on um, exhibition. Yeah, yeah we went there. We went there. We yeah. went Gazi, to Gazi's a place in Turkey. It's also a place in Greece as well, in Athens. You know it's what? Strip. Wasn't great. Wasn't? No. Huh. No. Really? No. And it's it's you know what? It's, Nothing to write home about. It's not. I know he's trying to make it more modernised and more... Shit. Yeah, I hated it. I didn't like it. They bring out a Suvo in, like, the bit of bread and stuff. Deconstructed and, Suvo? Well, <laughs> the, instead of, like, the meat that you usually get, like, or even kebab meal, whatever, it came in, like, fillets of beef yeah. with a Why? little bit of relish and a little bit of... The modernised yeah, deconstructed Suvo. No, there'd be relish on it if it's a Suvo. He's a Malacca. <laughs> that's it. <a, laughs> the only option. It wasn't great. Like, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't great. And I wouldn't go back. Someone sent me a photo. Who was it? I remember like two two years ago, maybe more. I got a photo of like celebrity sighting a picture of Callum Barris with him at his <sighs> restaurant. I go, yeah, I would hardly rate Callum Barris as a celebrity. Why? Because he's on MasterChef. Yeah, it's, it's like, come on, man. Every time I see his face, it just annoys me. Yeah, it annoys me. Like, like, like good on him. He's an entrepreneur. You know yeah. what I mean? Started up all these restaurants all based on Greek cuisine. And just, but don't act like you're a fucking... Yeah, but he's know, making it out like he's... You know Marco Pierre White, put it that way. He's Gordon Ramsay nah. or something. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> like, flaunty... Like, and that video just made me laugh. Like, imagine if you were at the soccer. I'd be laughing my like, head off. Like, George, go fuck yourself. <laughs> George, yeah. You're going to be bigger than that. Like, yeah. you're just going to take it in your stride. Like, you just... Whatever, <sighs> who cares? Like, they're chanting at me. I was an idiot. Whatever. Get yeah. with it. Last year, we, me and Ren went to Sydney, and he was on our flight. And he's such a little bald-headed cunt. Honestly, he had his little headphones on, you know, everything's little about him now. <laughs> this is a midget. He gets into business class and he just like, just, he looks like he scoffs at people. Mm. Just like that arrogant, and he goes into business class, relax, dickhead. <laughs> Go make me a sandwich, fuckwit. <laughs> you know, like, I hate just, that stare he does at the contestants, yeah, yeah. like on MasterChef. And like, he, 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 he puts the like, fork down and it's like, yeah. yeah. and then just keeps staring while he's tasting and like yeah. runs their eyes. I'd be so uncomfortable, like, stop looking at me. I reckon if it was one of these, if you can't, you just drop over the can of fly kick him like, <laughs> <laughs> did you like my fucking duck? <laughs> Where did you grow up? Where did Callum Barris grow up? Because I was reading about Johnny Farnham for some reason on the weekend. Because <laughs> we were talking about yeah. him the weekend. And I forgot, we mentioned it on another podcast. The guy grew up in Yarraman, like around the corner from me. Johnny <laughs> Farnham. Wouldn't that make you just fucking real? Like, do you know what I mean? Dude, Johnny Farnham. Farnham. Farnham was, grew up in Yarraman, man. <laughs> I just picture the suburb, and even I don't drive through there Didn't anymore. we establish that was like weed uh, country? 41, min- 41 <laughs> minutes ago. Master Chef George Kilmer is charged with altercation. Damn. <laughs> Suck shit. He got charged. They, 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 the guy's like, you know what? I'm pushing charges. Why'd you come up to me for? 
Um, I love it. And they also bring up the underpaid thing. <laughs> yeah, of course they do. Because that's what the whole thing was about. Why wouldn't they? Oh, okay. it was. A, it's like, dude, cop it on the chin. If you do the wrong thing, you have to expect to cop some shit about it. Dude, I said it when we were talking about our political career. And I said, watch, they'll come and start dragging out all the shit from like under the mud. If they found anything on me... And it was legit. I'm like, yeah, it happened. You're still a fuckhead. Uh. If I was Callum Barris, I'd still, I'd say something. Yeah, it happened. I'm still rich. You're still a fuckhead. Leave it there. If you've got that card of arrogance to play, then fucking play it. I don't care. Uh. Ah, you know where he went? Uh-huh. Mazanon. Mog- of course he did. The little entitled prick wogs. Yeah. Mazanon's around the corner from work, man. Yeah. Oh, Mazanon. What? And then he went to Box Hill TAFE. Okay. Wait, Mazanon is a suburb? Maz- no, no, no. It's in <laughs> Roeville. What is, what is Mazanon uh, College. Oh, okay. I it's, see a Catholic, it's a Catholic school, which is in Roeville, bordering Mulgrave. It's where all the little... So a private little, Catholic boy. All no. the little wannabe... That makes sense, then. Wannabe Greek, yeah. uh, Mulgrave, Greek and Italian yeah. uh, pansies. Well, that's where the arrogance comes from. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's where the There you go. There you go. It's another Sells Toby it. Green. Settles it, man. Solved. Sort of, dude. <laughs> he's, a, he's the Toby Green of the Greek uh, Southeast, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even a joke. He just said it all, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. I just put the phone down. I didn't even hey, say anything. I've got some boys from Mazinov that are fucking gritty dudes, but the like, yeah. good percentage of them are just like, whatever, man. It's like the Wesleys. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's the Wesley. It's the <laughs> Wesley of the Southeast for yeah. the Wogs. Yeah. That's what it is. What a wank. <laughs> Because <laughs> I do the podcast with no pants on. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, no pants. <laughs> I don't remember that, Nicholas. Normally I remember all the insults you call me, but I don't remember that one. Johnny, no show. Johnny, no show. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Johnny, no show. That makes sense. You're late. I normally remember all the insults that you call me. <laughs> Johnny, no show. I go home and cry about them later. <laughs> that's how I remember them. Talk to your therapist. <laughs> And they, they call, call me, me Robert Jeggings. <laughs> they won't stop with the Jeggings. That's You're wearing the them right name. now. That's the best name. I'm not. Are you wearing normal jeans? I'm wearing my tracksuit pants. Today, huh? Oh, yeah. Gully spec, gully yeah, spec. You've been wearing those jeggings like all summer up until now. <laughs> 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 oh, did you watch the GWS game? Sorry to go back to footy. Yeah. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> Why? Yeah, the, they're I don't saying want to talk that about footy anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to talk about footy anymore. I was just going to say one thing. You know, I'm Mumford. What the fuck is? Yeah, M- Mumford and Sons. Yeah. yeah, big bloke, big unit, massive. But it was funny because like at half time when they're all given their like, you know, like oh who do, who's the shining star for the game so far? Um, McAvaney pointed out Mumford. It's like oh, it just does everything. You know, he's on the ball, gets involved, la la. And there's just all these little cup videos of him just shirt fronting and hip and shouldering cunts like off the ball, mm-hmm. like behind play. Like, what a cheap cunt. Like, just going for, like, these cheapy fucking mm. shoves. And then somewhere during the third or somewhere the fourth, <laughs> there was a shot of Mumford in, like, a pack. He's tried to go in for, like, a hard ball or, like, tried to, like, keep and shoulder someone off the mark. Just got cleaned up by some other <laughs> random cunt. And as he's going down, just gets, like, booted in the face. Like, <laughs> literally just blow for blow. He's got, like, a, ah! <laughs> Popping up from every angle. Oh, it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen, man. I don't know. It just uh, pissed me off. Uh, GWS, they're, uh, I don't know. They're, um, they're saying, can uh, the coach drive a Ferrari? Because he's got so many good players there. And they abuse each other, the players, on the field, man. Like, they're really... So young. Oh, yeah. Like, um... Bill Davis. Bill Davis. He went up to Loeb and he fucking Loeb. pushed him through the chest. He goes, the fuck are you doing? Like, it was an aggressive Yeah, show. man. Like, it wasn't anything like, all right, mate. Like, if his confidence is down, you're not going to go and shove your own teammate. You go yeah. shove the opponent. He really hit him. Yeah. 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 Well, the cracks are starting to fucking... Yeah, it's not a show. Yeah. yeah fuck him. Those yeah. young egos. Yeah. All in the one boat. Well... <laughs> 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 Even you know you sounded ridiculous <laughs> saying that, man. <laughs> On the one boat. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> hey, that's that's great. That's really good. <laughs> I'm great. Anyway, I was going to say, um, I think I say is perfect. What? Oh, did, you see, did you guys see this photo? It was uh, about the um. You in the shower? <laughs> yeah. No, you're a fucking time. idiot. <laughs> um, Trump Trump healthcare plan passed in the states. Like finally, you know the one that the, Trump, Trump care. <laughs> yeah, trying to get rid of the Obama shit. Yeah. You know, the house uh, passed in the house and moves on to the Senate. Here's a group that decided nobody needs to go to Planned Parenthood. Do you see this? Oh, God, look at these guys, man. Okay, so what's this about? Here's the group that decided nobody needs to go. Yeah, Planned Parenthood in the States. Okay, Okay, hang on. So just get a bit of... um... He also fired the FBI guy, the head of the FBI, because I reckon he was onto something and he fired him. 
Yeah, that's Ooh. the guy that even Obama had warned him not to fucking hire. Yeah. A month in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plan, yeah. Planned, yeah. Dude, Planned Parenthood, right, we've got it in Australia as well, but Planned Parenthood in the States, non-profit organization that provides reproductive health care in the United States and globally. Okay. Tax, ex- tax exempt corporation under the um, IRS, like under some section. Mm. So like, you know, like it's, it's basically 68B, I birth think control and like, yeah, ever need anything. If you, <laughs> if you haven't got money, even if you do, but yeah, it's like just a healthcare thing for yeah. pregnant, pregnant women. Yeah. And that group of white old starchy men decided, yeah, we don't need it anymore. Yeah. That's a group of, uh, they're in the know. 20 wrinkly dicks decided <laughs> that we don't need Planned Parenthood yeah. anymore. 20 old sausages. The youngest guy there is Trump. Yeah. And he's what, 70? So what? When you have a kid, you have to pay for all the. Yeah, you got to pay. Like, there's no more help, basically. You want to have a kid? It's off your own bat. <laughs> you might as well have a bat. How fucked up? <laughs> because you ain't having a kid. That kind of segues into the next point I wanted to bring up: sex robots. <laughs> what? How Trust is that? You? How is that even remotely close? So, have you been interested in sex robots? Are you looking because into you one? You said you may as well just have a wank, and you're not going to want to have kids and stuff. Yeah. So. I've been looking into sex robots a little bit because I'd love to have one. Yeah. But there's like the... the <laughs> Don't want to creep out your friends and family anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just Letitia. What? <laughs> this is a fucking Why robot. don't you just go get a bot, man? Because, like, uh, they're saying sex robots are going to, like, give you the best sex you've ever had. Why? By- it's a robot, dude. Because they don't get tired. You'd pass out after three minutes. <laughs> 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 and they have like just in a sweaty heap. <laughs> you can, like, you can... <laughs> Stop! I can't take it anymore. <laughs> do not comprehend. <laughs> must, Stop! Must, must just, write penis. Do not it's, compute. It's a really feminine voice, and all the hours is just error, error. <laughs> what? It just throws you off and keeps going. <laughs> no, what, it, what it, about it? What, what, have you, what have you been reading up? So, your, your phone's ringing, Nicholas. Is it? Oh, well. <laughs> Continue, please. So what, what research have you done? Mystic Bobby. Yeah. No, I haven't actually. Cause I, like, Don't lie to us. Don't lie to your listeners. <laughs> we know you make a robot at home, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got the hand ready at least? With spare tire parts and like just random gears. <laughs> Has a remote control that I it's have. It's like an R2-D2, man. <laughs> it was C-3PO. Head, head. The faggy head. robot. <laughs> what? I make a guy robot, yeah. yeah. Oh, so the truth came Bend out. Bend over, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not the way it's meant to go. <laughs> I'm the giver, not you, Tom. <laughs> Nah. The robot flips you over yeah. and just clamps like just come out of the hands. Like it starts doing shit you never programmed it for it to do. Skynet. I developed Skynet. Yeah, Skynet. Skynet sex man. robot. It takes over. I was actually reading something about that, man. Someone saying... Um, Skynet. <laughs> yeah, no, saying that the future of humanity is basically like AI is going to be the end of us, basically. Yeah. yeah like, it's going to get to a point where we're not going to be able yeah. to control it. Yeah, it's like almost like Terminator predicted it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because if you want to make it that intelligent, it has to like be self-aware and it has to keep learning and it learns at an accelerated rate, like way quicker than humans can. Do you remember what the date was for Judgment Day, oh, according to Skynet? Oh, I should know this. Because uh, what's I know this Sarah Connor that. says it when she's getting interviewed by that quack. In yeah. The, uh, interview, yeah. You don't remember? Dun, 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 I dun, never dun, forget dun, the year, ever. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm serious. I've n- I'll never forget the year, man. I remember the bit more vividly when she um, has that needle of blue liquid up to his neck. Oh, yeah. you got 216 bones in the human body. <laughs> I remember that bit. It yeah. used to creep me out. Dude. Why didn't you buy a human sex doll? That's what I'm saying, man. But that's not a robot. No, because the robots can ride you and stuff. <laughs> yeah, ride you. <laughs> and they're going to be like, so it's going to be better than what like a normal person could do. Obviously, because it's like tailor-made for... Riding your pole, right? <laughs> I don't think we can do these podcasts anymore, man. So <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We've just taken it to a new level. No, this is serious shit, man. This I'm is- being serious. That's, if you actually consider buying this thing, I, I can't be your friend anymore. Why? <laughs> like, all, why? All innocent. Like, Wait, why? before we get into it, tell me like the date. Like I'm judging him. You know tell, me, I mean? tell me the date of judgment day before we get into this. August 29th, 1997. Oh. Dude, 20 years in like 
two, three months. Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. Yeah, that's it. it survives of the nuclear fire called the World Judgment Day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just they talk lived, about Terminator 2 for a while. They lived only to face a new nightmare, the war against the machines. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you're dead. You're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> Pin her down. You know they're rebooting it again, yeah? What T two? Yeah, I think James Cameron's actually going to do another one. Why? It's perfect. It's no, no, like is in another. <laughs> actually, that's a nice segue into our um our political agenda. Have you got the forms? They're at the office. Ah. Have you been thinking about it at all? This song's so emotional. Because so, we got asked last night, we went for coffee. <laughs> we went for coffee with the rookie last night. Yeah. And we got asked, um, we didn't get asked, we brought it up, I can't remember how. But we said we we're going to run for a political thing. He's like, all right, let me hear some of your policies. So we started just blabbering on about This like, music crap. came on and Dimmy stood on the table. <laughs> yeah, just lit a smoke. This is how we'll go. Yeah. Judgment Day. What a tune. Seriously, dude, have you been thinking about it at all? Because I have. I've actually yeah. legitimately been thinking about it. Even Prince Arthur came up to me and gave me our first poli- one of our first policies as well. Um, a, retro- a retroactive uh, education system. But it's like if you've, if you've gotten a free education, then eventually you have to pay it back. Mm-hmm. Or if you get a free education, education is free, but you pay it back regardless. Mm-hmm. And anyway, this whole argument against Malcolm Turnbull is hilarious. How about we take out money from the jails and their creature comforts and put it into education? That's what we were saying last night when the rookie asked us, okay, let's just, I'll tell you what, let's bring it back up to speed for anyone that may not have listened to our last episode. We are genuinely going to go forward with starting a political party and uh, we're going to start a GoFundMe in order to come up with the 500 Mm -hmm. bucks to register the actual party. Yep. Yeah? Am I right so far? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just like kind of a blow. Let me just so, so you'll be doing question time. Mm. Jerk. <laughs> hey, jerk no. face. <laughs> but he asked, yeah, but the rookie asked us about our policies. And I said, all right, well, here's one for start. Uh, eliminating the divide and the gap between condemned prisoners in Supermax and the homeless situation on the streets. Okay, that's the biggest one that doesn't make sense. Anything that's not right. So, Hence the name, that's not right. Yeah, he said, well, what do you plan on doing? Like turning it into a slum like in the Philippines? I said, no, not necessarily a slum because you're going to get the bleeding hearts that say, you know, human welfare and blah, 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 blah. I said, yeah, but there's no reason why. Okay, what's our cost of living individually? Remember we came up with it mm. in the first couple of episodes? If our salaries are under 70000 let's just say, yeah. then technically our cost of living is under 70000 Which is lower than the cost of living for a jail inmate. Yeah, jail inmate's one hundred and ten. Does make sense? And they're meant to not have any anything. Yeah. Lux- luxuries. They got TVs cost, and kettles. You're and telling me security there. guards and uh, prison cells that that's what we're paying for? Mm-hmm. Well, fuck off. Let them tear each other apart if they want to fucking tear each other I apart. I couldn't give a shit. Yeah, they're in there for a reason. All right. Why is it that all these fucking human right activists and bleeding hearts get up in arms when the health and welfare of uh, convicted felons is je- is compromised. Okay, let's just say compromised. Mm-hmm. Apparently compromised. Mm-hmm. But you've got how many thousands on the streets homeless? Yeah. Uh, through no fault of their own. Yeah. How come? Th- where's the empathy for them? Oh, they should just go get jobs. You know what I mean? Well, you know, m- more needs to be done. Okay, how about we do less for fucking convicted felons that have no respect or regard for human life or mm. or no chance life? of rehabilitation? Yeah, no chance of rehabilitation. Yeah, and put it. Back into somewhere where it actually fucking matters. Yeah, let's tip the scales a little bit. It's a little yeah. bit like fuck, man. Like enough's enough now. Yeah, like, and we said, what do we say? Like TVs in every cell. Like come on. Like go mad. Okay, but what about the victims' families mm. that are already going mad? Even though like they're prisoners outside the fucking yeah. the walls. Yeah. Dental. Let's abolish that. Yeah. Because who cares if their teeth are fucked? Why is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't have dental. Huh. How come Julian Knight has access to education? And then if he doesn't like something, like you know when he fought to have the um. The poster of uh, Adolf Hitler in his cell. Mm, yeah. He fought. He used government. He used taxpayer money to take the, <laughs> to take the state to court mm. for the right to have an Adolf Hitler poster on his wall. Use state money, like government taxpayer money, right? And he has access to education. Nah. For me to do that private eye course would have been two grand. I don't have it. Oh yeah. well, too bad. Yeah. Be stuck in your ways. How can you empathise with that and not empathise with a homeless person? Dude, I want to get further education. I have to 
go to like you know my mum or the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sell Start it. selling Sell your ass because huggy. Yeah. I have to figure it out, otherwise I have no man, well too bad. Yeah. Too fucking bad. Like that's it. But Julian Knight can do whatever the fuck he wants. That money can go to the homeless situation, that money can go to students that can't afford to study or people this is what they don't understand. Like you're gonna lift the rate of fees in unis and TAFEs and all that kind of stuff, right? We said it in the last, like, earlier podcast. If the, if these kids have the right to study, which everyone has the right to study, higher education, everyone does, which is one of the things that I want to say. Um, if they train up and study and get an education, they will get a job back into the our environment here in Australia, yeah. and the money will go back into yeah. r- the economy. It's it, yeah, like it's a, system, it's a circle, exactly. And that's why countries like Denmark and all these kind of places are doing really well. Because school is free. They realise that it's going to help. And it's going to go back into, and they're going to create leaders for the future, whether it be whatever industry you want to get into. An educated society, man. Absolutely. But yet we're, we're rallying to get prisoners better living rights. Mate, they should be living on a fucking dog's mattress and eating barley. Yeah. Personal opinion, they should be, yeah, living on fucking shit farms. Yeah. But to counter that, we can't do that. No. It's inhumane and not blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. But they shouldn't be living better... Than the no. general population. No, no. Simple. If you can't be allowed in the general population in a prison, then you shouldn't be living better than the general population outside That's of the right. fucking prison. Makes zero sense. Yeah. You've done something wrong, yeah. you kid. Like yeah. simple. Like simple. Yeah. And I said, well, that's that's a start. He's like, oh, that's a good start. And I said something about, um, oh, as as politicians, what was it, uh, base wage that we were talking about? Like 170,000, 200,000, whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Un- unneeded. <laughs> Unnecessary, considering politicians get... Meals compted, rent assistance, travel, travel, officers set up for free. Everything. Everything. They don't pay for a single thing. They're like celebrities. They don't pay for a single thing. Mm. And most of the time they don't do dick anyway, right? Or they've got nothing. They come from nothing. Mm. Yeah. I said, if we were elected in any form of government, we'd take a base salary of what we'd consider reasonable. Yeah. Like, is 80K a reasonable salary for a year? Think about it. If you're by yourself, is 80,000 mm. a course decent wage? With yeah. like your holiday, like with all your, of course, like your bonuses and shit. That's mad. Decent salary, yeah? yeah. Like you don't have to I don't stress. need two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I don't need two hundred and fifty thousand. If you're covering my flights Why would I need to Yeah earn- huh. Simple, right? Yeah. So I said, that's your base salary. I go, we wouldn't t- I'd, I'd make my sandwiches and go to work, man. Mm. Yeah. Like literally I'll pack a fucking lunch mm. if I know that I'm making eighty K a year and I'm doing something to help everyone around me. Totally. I reckon Bobby would get corrupted. The first, yeah, right. dude, the I reckon first you'd be dude the first opens a briefcase know. with like two grand. My eyes just light up. Yeah. Oh. Two grand and a pack of twisties. Yeah. <laughs> and a pack of smokes. <laughs> and that's all it took. And a picture map. <laughs> they picture came map. to us People. with like briefcases of gold and we'd locked it back like, get out of my house. Yeah. You know? This guy gets two grand. In tens. In $10 notes. Changes his name. <laughs> we'll- I get the prototype for the latest sex robot. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Out. John, Johnny will throw you well. Johnny, <laughs> jo- Johnny will give you five grand and the robot takes so, a plane to <laughs> takes a plane to Fraser Island, just disappears. <laughs> he, he lives his days out with the sex robot, <laughs> Sol- <laughs> solar powered robot. <laughs> Runs out of food after seven days. <laughs> he's, he's back on the land looking for food, rummaging through bins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just, uh, oh, Bobby. That's ex-Senator Robert Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby. Oh, God. I love it. No, but in the, in the newspaper, the rise and fall of Robert Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> it was a quick rise and fall. <laughs> done and dusted in 380 days. From, like, that's Monday it. the 7th of April, then you said, like, you know... It's the 23rd. The 23rd of April. It's the rise fun. and fall. Just a hobo. Huh? At least there's a book. <laughs> Gets a book deal. My TV. story. <laughs> TV midday movie. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. <laughs> Funny because it's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, going back to that salary thing, man. Like, so they get these crazy high salaries, but then they'll still stand there and argue about like a few dollars for a fucking weekend rate that they're going to abolish and shit. Yeah. It's, it's so it's so stupid. It's like, hypocritical. We would never do yeah. that. We would never no, do that because we, we have actual empathy and we're in touch. We are, oh, and we have, like we said in the last one, we haven't come from money. We've come from the no. ground up. Yeah. We're, we've fucking worked for everything we have. Yeah. We're not entitled to shit, so we're going to appreciate everything we get done. And that's what politicians forget, that they actually do have pretty fucking privileged lives compared to everyone else. Yeah. Not gully hardened like me. Do, 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 they, honest, do they seriously work 20 hours a day? No. 
do they work? How many hours a day do you reckon politicians work? Probably eight to ten. And how many decisions in their job do they have to make, right, where it falls entirely on their shoulders and not a fucking team of, like, people? Well, that's right. They've got advisors. They've got, like, yeah. all sorts of people. Every fucking politician has a staff behind them. It's not like... It's one man, you know, versus the world. And so it's like, all right, so, oh, we've got A, B, C. Which one are you going to go for? We'll go for C. Oh, the advisors might, mm, let's go for B first. And we'll say, we go, all right, let's go for B. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Lunch. Yeah. Lunch. Big day. Cheryl, coffee. Yeah. Caviar, please. Yeah. Seriously. Anyway, I'm please. not saying it's easy. I'm not no, saying no, it's, it's not easy. Because you, you'll have all these agendas. The only but, thing I ever see politicians doing is on TV, standing there, with a bunch of advisors behind them saying how they're going to screw us, basically. <laughs> and a few poindexters in the background nodding. They're going to screw us. You anal no lube. <laughs> yeah. They're going to screw us. Like, that's it. And there's always the poindexters in the background just like, yes, not, yeah, nodding. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. We're definitely going to screw. Anyway. So, but, yeah. Okay, so what do we... Did you, did, anyone, did you even look into it? Did anyone look into it? Did anyone even think about it? Look into what? The whole thing. Policies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. man. I'm into it, man. I'll, dude, I've been well, reading up on it and stuff. Po- oh, and I was going to say, anyone listening, we're an open book, as in if you want to look at our views and opinions, just yeah. go over the last 51 episodes. What we'll do is, uh, we'll write up some policies and we'll post it so you guys can yeah, see we'll what our website. Yeah, yeah, so we can post and see. But you this, guys- is, this is legit. No, this is no, this is no joke. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm being serious. Johnny's going to have to... Maybe I started clean up the facial policies. hair a little bit. Not happening. No, 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 no. That was the other thing I said. I go... <laughs> no, we are, no, we are who we Nick are. Nick and I were talking about yeah. it. I go, the way we are is the way we are. We don't need fucking taxpayers to buy us our suits. No. We don't need taxpayers to buy us new I'll cars. wear my goddamn suit from man to man. <laughs> Dude, I'll wear the same fucking clothes I'm wearing now. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. As long as my opinions are, uh, my policies are fucking stable and rock solid, who yeah. gives a fuck what I'm yeah. wearing? No but that's the thing. Why do you need to be in a suit to be heard? Yeah, I don't want taxpayers to be paying for my car. I don't want them to be paying for my suits. I don't want them to be paying for my fucking lunches out. Let's go rock up in Canberra, Parliament. <laughs> 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 this is quite Zach Knight. <laughs> Zach Knight blaring on the stereo. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to be chauffeured around the back of a statesman. I want to drive my own stater. <laughs> With your own, Dude, I'm rocking your up in a driving van. Dude, I'm rocking up in the glass. van. <laughs> it's just got the business van. I'm stripping the uh, business name. I'm going to put a hashtag that's not right on it. <laughs> Dude, just think about that. Like getting chauffeured in the statesman. Like to have to buy that statesman. Yeah. It's one cost we don't need. It's it's an unnecessary cost. What's a brand new statesman worth? 80k? Like 80k. With those okay. ones, they're probably... There's, there's your salary. Mm. What would 80k do to a local school somewhere? Dude, heaps. 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 Dude, Dude, new equipment, new this, new that. Yeah. Seriously. It'll... <sighs> and, and that's what we're going to be doing. That's a new portable, one, a new just, portable, a new anything. That's just one little example, like the car. Like That is the... Ba- I want to put it forward. That is the base of our um our constitution. Mm. It, fucking all... It's it's an equal... It, it's equality and common sense for everyone, not akin to communism. Because we mm. don't believe in everyone works like a slave and just throws <laughs> it all in the bin for, like, uh, the parliament to decide. Oh, no, not at all. Like we said, we're people for the people. Yeah. And if you've got questions or policies, write in. Like, yeah. just let Please, us know. Duke what leverage, what would uh, you... Yeah. Uh, the real Duke leverage at gmail.com, yeah. the facey page, all that yeah. sort of shit. Like, what do you want to see happen? Yeah. But what would you like to see happen? What's important to you? We'll be your voice. If you don't want to say anything, tell us and we'll say it for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. If it's but decent. <laughs> <laughs> sex dolls for all. <laughs> I like. Johnny, government subsidy for sex dolls. Yeah, man. I don't know. I just kept <laughs> That's the only perk of the job I want is a sex doll <laughs> in my office. Is that all you want? <laughs> no salary, like nothing? Office. And a lock on the, oh, on the door. Oh, Johnny's even sacrificing his salary just for a sex doll. Look at this. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the people's champion, mate. Sex doll bag of twisties every week. Yeah. That's all I need. Open his office and he's just he tissues his everywhere. Office. <laughs> he goes into his office. Yeah, I've got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> I've had his head cold for weeks now. Oh. You're fucked. <laughs> Can the fuck cancel my 3 p.m.? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you've been putting it off for three weeks. <laughs> Just fucking cancel it. <laughs> cancel it. His eyes bloodshot red like, <laughs> shut up. Uh, Mr. Jaking, <laughs> the, the other members of your party here, tell him to fuck off. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> All I hear is, zzz, 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 zzz. <laughs> oh, yeah, cannot, baby. Cannot compute. Cannot compute. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just abuses it. I don't know, man. No, no. I, I no. honestly believe we could do a lot better. Dude, but I've been thinking yeah. of like, I've been trying to think of policies, Dude, man. there's so much stuff that just doesn't make sense, like wasted money for nothing, like, that people don't want. Like, the majority of people don't want. I was going to ask, does anyone know, you know, with like parking fines and shit, because mm. uh, that's all local, yeah? yeah local Where government. does that money go? Back to the council. Yeah, but what do they do with it? Do they... Fur- they, they 
Uh, yeah, well, I'd, I'd, I'd hope <laughs> that they would do improvements to local community areas like that, but yeah, I guarantee you it doesn't. It goes into their fucking pockets. Do you think? Big bag of cocaine. I, no, 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 I'm, I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I'm being if dead If I set. get stung for a parking ticket and then... Well, $10 administration fee. <laughs> yeah, that goes to standard. the paper. Yeah. Where does the rest of the money go? I'd love to know much how much on a daily basis they make in fines. On it. Uh, yeah, it Let's came out last year. They always have that figure out somewhere. Parking fines? It's just get, every year it goes up and up, man. Just, yeah. Like every room, every room. year, every year it just goes up. It'd be a phenomenal amount every day. Just ching, you know what killed ching, me? Ching, I paid for ching. parking somewhere the other day and the only option, I think it was springy, the only option was like hour for like two bucks or whatever. I only wanted it like to go pick up some food. I was like 15, 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, but you have to go for the... I had to pay for the hour, yeah. And then I got paranoid like, well, I'm only going to be 10, 15 minutes. Like, can I just get away with it? Just run in? And I thought, mm. fuck... I paid for parking once and I'd gone over like close to the hour and the anxiety that I got just thinking about getting back to the car in time to find like a dude standing over it writing up a ticket. I went nuts. Mm. I went nuts. I'm like, it shouldn't be like this. Mm. Like getting it. I can't even draw. Like, can you imagine like a, a, a father takes his two kids or whatever out to Luna Park or some shit in St. Mm. Kilda and you know, it's like one bracket for seven bucks. Yeah. Max payment, twelve fifty or whatever for the, the f- full day. Mm-hmm. And he only pays like the, the minimum or whatever, like it pays for an hour or two. And then he's got these kids out. And then he's thinking, fuck, I've got to cut the ride short because I've got to get back to the car. And put a couple of coins in, in there. In case some <coughs> fucking cunt's riding me uh, up. Yeah. Can you imagine like, how fucking shit would that turn your Sunday? And like explaining to your kids, like, yeah, we have to go back to the spot because, you know, we have to pay to be in the spot. Yeah. That's like terrible. Yeah. And turn a Sunday lunch into absolute yeah. shitstorm, man. Well, I can give you a couple. Oh, here we go. All right. So, in the last couple of years, the councils have been making over $200 million. That's a shitload of fucking money, man. $70 tickets. So much money. Right? $200 million. In England. <laughs> million. $200 million. In, in, million. in England, right, in Westminster, made the most from parking tickets and fines. Altogether, £700 million. Pounds. That's right. (laughs) New York York City. New York City collects a record $1.9 billion in fines and fees. That's a lot of cheese. Is that fucking normal? Seriously? But here, it's uh, just over $200 million. But that's just council. Is that council where? Council, as in Melbourne. Australia or Melbourne? Melbourne. Melbourne? Melbourne? Yeah. (sighs) Okay. I'm just trying to find a number here. Insanity. Uh, Could be Victoria, but whatever, like state. Dude. Either way. <clears throat> the underlying cash balance, all right, for the Australian government, <clears throat> since the 2013-14 media budget review, the, the government... B- the budget. The, budget. <laughs> the, budget. the government has announced <laughs> overall savings of $144 billion through sensible reductions in spending and targeted measures to make Australia's tax system more sustainable. All right. What have they done in the last, like, two years What's of tax? Sky Rail? Yeah, they've wasted the money on like the East West Link. Which how much with, was that? With the payback. How much was that? Actually, do me a favor. I know we mentioned it once when Arthur was here. We mentioned it. What did that failed fucking East West Link shit cost us? You remember that, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, they dropped the plans, wrote up the contracts, and then scrapped it at the last yeah, minute. Yeah, we're gonna do a bit now. Yeah, we're gonna be back, right? Okay, think about it like this. These are all off budget.gov.au. Like it's not bullshit facts here. Yeah? The underlying cash balance is projected to improve from a deficit of $37.1 billion, that's what the country owes, in 2016-17, to a deficit of $6 billion. So they're going to remove $30 billion in the next year. How? By increasing taxes and cutting away school funding. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty Do you know what I mean? Pretty much, yeah. Like, yeah, no worries. Like, yeah, we'll just... We'll cop it again. <laughs> The lowly Don't worry, worker. I'll go work and then pay tax. You know, the slave who's just getting by will the bill. Don't worry. I'll put this bill. I've got it, guys. Don't worry. My shout. <laughs> My shout. Can you imagine us trying to eat dinner somewhere in the city and Turnbull sitting two tables across? I don't worry. I've got it. It's fine. Malcolm, just, just sit down, mate. Just sit down. We know you're doing it tough. Yeah. I've got your lunch, mate. Don't worry about it. Seriously, man. So dumping the East West Link contract will cost Victoria almost a hundred million dollars, right? That's just us, the taxpayers. Okay, slaves. And then the Victorian <laughs> Auditor General, 
came out and said, mate, previously <laughs> estimated the Andrews government explosive decision to scrap the road project would cost the state about $1.16 $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. One point one six billion dollars because they decided, yeah, nah, can't be fucked. Give me, give me a percent of that, and I'll feed the homeless man in the streets and put that back into schools. A percent, <laughs> percent. Like, Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? And then, like, remember we were talking about it with Arthur, like um, Nick was overseas about the, the cost of CityLink and the tolls and all that sort of shit. How. We paid that much to get it in. We paid that much to use it. We mm-hmm. paid that much. Every time a road is built anywhere near the city link, the government has to pay the mm-hmm. company. Oh, no, I mean, they have to pay a, a levy just based on the fact that levy, yeah, yeah. Well, someone they, else is using the road. Yeah, well, they said, weren't they going to scrap it after the roads are paid? The roads have been well paid. Dude, we, yeah, we're just going to keep going on. and listen to those episodes. We, we worked it out that everyone could just pay a dollar each way or whatever, mm. and it would still be paid back. Like, Abs- Dude, it's already been paid off. Dude. It'd be fine. A, a dollar. Like, yeah. that's fair. Yeah. Look, I'd pay a dollar to use it. Like, yeah. fuck it, all right. Two bucks a day. Say so you go to work and back, all and right. We- that's 14, uh, say five days, that's 10 bucks a week. Yeah. I would use it every day. Absolutely. I would use it every fucking day. And it's Absolutely. a win-win because it's easy for us. They get their yeah. money back. Yeah. But they're just not making a exuberant amount of money. That's right. It's not fucking $14 yeah. every time you go beep. I used to make fun of the wogs big time when they avoided the tolls. Because they're tight-ass wogs. Because in their head, it's like, it's $6 million. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to go all the way to Punt Road. We're going to get off at Turek Road because it's $6 million. To get to your auntie's house, I'm not going to pay it. Mm-hmm. And then, like, they're rerouting their way through Richmond to get to Preston. Mm-hmm. Takes them another, like, 10, 15 minutes. But, oh, it's, it's $6 million. I'm not going to fucking... Literally. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I used to make fun of it because I'm like, what's the big deal, man? I go to the city once a week or whatever. Like, let me fucking... I'm going to use the tolls. So when I was driving to the city, I would use the tolls. Right? But then I realized... One way on the tolls is like eight bucks or something. Easy. You get off at um, at uh, Punt Road. Mm. To get off at uh, Flinders Street to go through uh, mm-hmm. Batman Avenue, mm-hmm. that's like 14 bucks. Yeah, just that little, little just bit. Just that little. What's the stretch? Actually, do me a favor, man. Check out Domain Tunnel to Batman Ave, like Exhibition Street or whatever it is. You know, just around Rod Laver, uh. where the Yarra River is. Uh. That's not even like, is that a K? Maybe maybe a K and a half? Uh, Avenue, yeah. Maybe. You know, when you cross over Swan Street, yeah. go over the past the Yarra, around the side of Rod Laver, yeah. to where there's that extra set of tolls. Yes. There are, there's a toll point yeah. between Swan Street, Batman Ave, yeah, just to get you to go and the And the bit. city. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, I could, I could kick a footy. In uh. current traffic, it's nine minutes. But in current, it's back to back. It's not even, it's not nine minutes though. No. In the middle of the night, that run takes you about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. At, at 60k an hour, that takes you 30 seconds, not even yeah. less than that. But it's less than a k. Still cop a toll. Yeah. Still cop a toll. It's a stupid toll. It's like 17 bucks by the time you get yeah. there, man. Yeah. Yeah. You do that once or twice, dude. It. That's 20 bucks. That's, you, that's two hours of work. If I go to the city twice, that's 40 dollars. Mm-hmm. I got to work an hour plus to, mm-hmm. to like, yeah, no. to like two hours even. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah a joke. Like, <laughs> It's not even like a toll yeah. point, man. It's like. Literally. You know what? They've just put it there to be like, hey, cunts will go through it. Yeah, they will. Em. They will. Yeah, cunts will go through it. sting them for seven bucks every time they go through that yeah, point. And how many cars you can go through there a day? Oh, yeah, you couldn't put you a number on yeah, it, man. Yeah, yeah. And at seven bucks every time. I've always said it, man. It just feels so mean. Like it's, it's so just, fucked up. Like, if you have to charge, just make it fair. Like, don't make it so you're just making billions of dollars in your own pocket. So, like, balance the sheets, man. Like, it's all about balancing the sheets. It's about bookkeeping. Yeah. Fairness. All right? Like... Take money out of the jails, fuck them, all right? <laughs> like, seriously, fuck the prisoners, because they're in there for a fucking reason. Put money back into the people that are non-criminals. <laughs> people are doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. Maybe take out a couple of tolls, man. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, that, mon- that money Dude, can go... If you it. shave the way a kettle and pay TV from a few uh, maximum security cells, you could afford to, like, let people use the tolls for free a couple of days a week. Exactly. Mondays and Wednesdays. Weekends. <laughs> Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. See you know what I mean? Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> or even just weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. What about logical use the tolls? approaches, man? Logical it's more approaches. More expensive on the weekends. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you let people just Monday to Friday pay your tolls, whatever. Saturday, Sunday, have it for free. You want to take the family out, use it. 
people yeah, do it. Encourage no. people to go back to the footy. But they'll never do that. Maybe that'll stop domestic violence. I yeah. don't know. Like, take your family out. Like, pe- do pe- something. Yeah. Pe- like, do- yeah. Drive on this strip of road on us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just for today. Well, you pay for it. And you know what? You pay for it to be built. You pay for it to be maintained. Which which yeah. will mean... We'll let you use it for a day. Go yeah. a toll on us. <laughs> you know what? Which <laughs> will mean... People will be going out. People will be spending money. Money that will be going back into the fucking coffers of the government. Do you know what kills me, man? I was talking about the other day with someone. I can't remember who I was talking about it with. I was just saying about savings, right? Like saving money. Working in this country. The As budget. You, we are one of the most <laughs> highly taxed countries in the world, yes. and we know that. And you see it in the quality of life as far as, like, you know, healthcare, education. Yeah, like, yeah. It's all there. Like, yeah. Parks it's and not gardens. the best system in the world, but it's there compared to... We like, get by. Yeah. Like, you know, if we have... If touch wood, you know, we got sick right now, I had a heart attack, I could go to the hospital... Of course, I don't have ambulance cover, so like they charge me two grand that's, for the ambulance. Dingy, but the hospital two grand, man, for an ambulance ride. That's always blown my mind. Yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, catch a, I'll catch an Uber. Yeah, Uber it. I get Hassan the Afghan to drive me to the emergency. Hey, hey Hassan, who get me there before the yeah, ambulance? Fuck starts. Hassan, can and you'll be here before the ambulance there. comes. He will get there before the ambulance. Yeah. Literally, literally, man. Hassan, can you step on it, man? <laughs> not feeling great. Seriously, <laughs> no, <I> just... <laughs> left arm's got numb. Hassan, come Probably on. Probably looks a lot. Lighter than the inside of an Ambo as well. Yeah, Dude, he's, and he's I got used, like I used Uber like ex- exponentially over the weekend, yeah. man. And I got in like mint. I'm like, oh no, I'm good, thanks, man. Mint. They offered me a mint. <laughs> Say service with a smile, mate. Yeah, man. It's always blown my mind, the ambulance thing. Oh, like, everyone fuck. knows about it, that if the ambulance has to travel just a kilometre to pick you up and take you to the hospital, it's still going to be like $2,000 plus. Grand. Dude, I had ambulance cover. That. Oh, I keep forgetting that fact. And I, I, I wanted to write... I, I got to tat it on my arm so I remember to use it against all those idiots that try and mm. get me to buy, like, you know, some raffle ticket or some shit. It's like, dude, I don't have ambulance cover. <laughs> I don't. I he hates those afford, oh. he hates I those couldn't guys. afford the one on the hit list. I couldn't afford the forty, fifty bucks for ambulance cover or RACV roadside. Man, I don't have either of them. Uh-huh. Why? Because I can't afford it. What the fuck am I going to buy raffle tickets for? Whatever bullshit cause you've got, when I can't afford to look after myself. Oh, you're very blessed as it is. Am I? <laughs> if I lost my job, I'd be out on the fucking street. That's another rant. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm just <laughs> stop. I was saying about overtaxing the system. Yeah. yeah? We pay that much tax, and think about it, yeah? We work. What do we get? What's our average tax? What's our tax rate on our salaries, like on the, on the average week? Uh, lots. <laughs> it's a shitload of money. I'll sum that up as lots. Just a shitload of coin. <laughs> what is it, like 40% or something? So 30%. 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%. Something like that. It's something like that. I just, I just say goodbye to I my think. money. I don't even bother anymore. I don't even, I don't even look at my, pay, my, I don't look look my pay sleep, sleep, man. No. I just ignore it. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. Me too. Yeah, right? We're at that point where we don't even care anymore because it's just depressing, right? But do you think about it. We earn money, we pay tax, okay? From the money that we've earned, okay? Like, okay, government, here you go. Here's like a big fat fucking dose. Enjoy. Now I know how they're going to get the $30 billion out of the budget deficit, right? Take it. It's fine. I understand we have to pay tax. That's fair. You need a tax system, right? <laughs> now, from the money that we get back, we go shopping and buy groceries, fuel, blah, 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 blah. Taxed. Taxed. 11%, 10%, GST, all that crap. Petrol. Petrol, which is heavily taxed. Petrol. Sex dolls. Sex- <laughs> taxed. That's, that's, right. that's, an, that's an outcry. That that's an outcry. <laughs> <laughs> this is burning up Parliament. He's going to be on the steps with the <laughs> fucking torch. They went too far with the sex doll, the sex doll tax. That was, you know, well, well, look, honestly, He's cutting our throats. <laughs> the sex industry, taxed. You yeah. go into a shop to buy something, taxed. Everything's right? taxed. Everything's Cop taxed. Rings, taxed. Then, then, <laughs> then. This is the kicker <laughs> of it, right? Out of all of that, the little peanuts that you have left, right? You think, all right, fuck it, I'm going to save this. I'm not going to treat myself to food this week. I'm going to save this money, <laughs> right? I'm going to save it. I'm going to put it aside in like an interest account. Even just a saving interest account, mm. which is like nothing, like 2%. Like it, it's, it's nothing, right? Mm. Tax time comes, that money's taxed. My accountant literally says, oh, have you earned any uh, interest on any money? I'm like... Yeah, two bucks. What money? I don't have any money in my bank account. Oh, according to this, you've earned uh, $3. Like, literally. <laughs> literally. Yeah. And the thing that kills me is the accountant already knows how much money I had in some bank account I didn't even know existed. Mm-hmm. How did you get that information? I'm pretty sure I didn't authorize that man. <laughs> but the tax department knows how much money I've got. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, this cunt's got money. Three, like, if you check... Do you know when... And I checked it out. I'm like, how the fuck did I earn interest? Do you know what it was? The money for this guy's bucks last year that I got in from everyone 
because I didn't pay off everything immediately. No, you leave, I yeah. Like some stuff I didn't have to, right? I didn't have to pay off immediately. So yeah. I had a couple hundred, like four, five hundred. So bucks. you made a dollar seventy-five. Yeah. Four, five hundred bucks sitting there for about a month, four weeks. Yeah. So you're big pimping for that for a little while, huh? dude. <laughs> it sat in an interest account, earning like point oh two percent. Damn boy. And I made like two, three bucks on it. Nice. Oh man, you fire. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> dude, and the, the government wanted to tax me on that, man. <laughs> See? Like, Why? What, what are these extra funds in his bank? Yeah, man. <laughs> like literally so you try to do the right thing to save money and you get taxed on the money you've already paid tax on earning does it make any sense mm-hmm. and that's just on a piddly account like piddly amount like a couple hundred bucks imagine if you had like three four five ten thousand dollars savings which you've already paid tax on because you've earned it mm. and it's sitting in the account and the government's going to jump on whatever you gain on that as well just like, to, just to fuck oh, you earn more money on that well, yeah we can take some of that then it comes back to all the fucking Prime Minister's fucking little fucking yeah. perks of the job. And they can do whatever the fuck they want. Shit. I'm taking care of Billy House. <laughs> they, can, <yeah. laughs> they can be, they can be in, in government for two yeah. years and then get a pension of like, you know, what was it? 100,000 or what was the uh, pension? Let me, actually, Remember we for, figured it for out? Prime Ministers? Yeah. Oh, no, for anyone, any politician. But all the little perks they have. Remember the dude in Tasmania that got done because he was like scamming money or some sex thing? Like some dude had to resign, but he still got a pension. Huh. Like 50K a year. For doing what? Huh. For serving for like 10 years. Six figure pensions for office, life. <clears throat> Six uh, figures. The minimum they'll be getting is 118000 a year. Pension. Do you know what my mum's pension's worth? Peanuts. Peanuts. If she hasn't got family or friends to lean on, she'd be on the but street. Dimitri, they're so much better than her. <laughs> they wear suits and have shiny yeah. shoes. No shit. No shit. And get chauffeured days. around and free lunches. And you always shits me? That makes no oh. sense. You want a struggle, a, a struggle story? My mum fucking left the village. That's why, and that's why I have this tat on my chest, man, to remember where my, my, my fucking roots came from. My mum came from a shitstone village in Greece, flew to Athens, learnt English, and then flew here with nothing and made a, a life for herself. I think she's done it a little bit harder than some of these No shit. And that's her and every other fucking worker out there. But according to them, she's lower than them. Yeah, she needs Obviously. to pay. She needs to carve up her pension. Uh, yeah, we're not going to give disability pensions anymore. What? But ours are staying. Yeah. Because we're better than you. Because we're better than you. <laughs> and we know it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And is we're that, applying for that... memberships at Beaumaris fucking golf course. Yeah. Seriously. All that elitism shit out the fucking window, man. Yeah, dude. I'm not saying make everyone peasants. I'm just no, saying no, no. bring it back to reality, man. Tip the scales in favour. Fair. <clears throat> yeah, in favour of the fucking people that make this country work, man. Seriously. And it's not like the politicians are even getting anything right. Remember when Arthur was telling us about the um, expenditure for the military? We bought all those planes and shit that were fucking dated as it was, yeah. falling apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did we spend on that? <laughs> Trust me, you want this model. It's a very good model. <laughs> we have the B model in store now. Uh, could we wait for the D model? When's the E model? No, we have B model right now. It's the best model, trust me. It's the best model. Please take it now. <laughs> <laughs> we have it gift wrapped already, ready for go. I'm like, what? I wait. Dude, seriously. It's Dude. not like they're fucking doing anything right anyway. Who the fuck would backflip on an East West link that's going to set, ba- set us back a few billion dollars? Like, what's wrong with you people? And, uh, and they're still not, it's not enough. No. They're, they're looking at other options. What have you been doing? If we had a team, do you think we'd make a fuck up like that? Seriously. Mm-mm. What do you what, what do you mean? Like a uh, solution, maybe upgrade the transport system or something? Maybe that could be an idea or Yeah, but do you know what kills me, dude? <laughs> they make As a one in... billion dollar fuck up like that. Okay, so what happens to Daniel Andrews? What how is his life compromised in any way? He'll be re elected. <laughs> he'd have to have <laughs> he'd have a pat on the back. <laughs> he'd have to have a press conference somewhere like uh, yeah, we are uh, fucked up on the um, East West Link. But but, um, but, 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 but. Which you'll be reading from a bit of paper. Yeah. Written by somebody else. And yeah. say, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked up. We fucked up. No fault of <laughs> our own. No fault of our own. It's someone else's fault. But what I'm going to do is for Good you. Good better parks. <laughs> I'm gonna give you. Yeah, I'm gonna give you an extra park, <laughs> and I'm gonna build skyrail over your houses. Yeah, How about yeah, that? Yeah. How about that? How about that, mate? You get to see. So you get to the footy on time. Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no. Yeah. But what, how's Daniel Andrew's life going to be compromised with that? It won't be. It won't be. He still have the same chauffeur, the same fucking income, and, and even if he's not re-elected, he'll same go back to the backbench and he'll still get money, and he'll still yeah. Dude, what happens if we make a, a $20 fuck up at work? Forget it, man. You get fired. You get, you get suspended for like a week minimum. That's paddling. 
That's what I'm staring at my beard. That's what I'm doing. Cold! That's fucking man, man. No, no, think about it. Dude, you fuck up at work and they put you off the week for the week. It's like, dude, I miss out on that paycheck. I'm fucking screwed. I get it. They don't care. Yeah. I got suspended like three years ago or something, four years ago, because I was on my phone, right, on the floor, which is against the rules. I was dealing with a personal, uh, a family emergency, but my own fault. I should have walked off the floor to use my phone. I got suspended for like nine days. Dude, that's a whole paycheck I missed out on. I'm fucked. I struggled. I fucking struggled for that week. I never recovered, man, because I, suddenly I was eating into my it's catch up. It's catch yeah. up in here. And then I spent, if I miss one week of pay, that's like six months of catching up to do. Just because it just throws the balance out because I'm going day by day. Daniel Andrews makes a $1 billion mistake. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's still turning up to work every day. Size. His, yeah. <laughs> Size. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Size. None of that. Man. YOLO. <laughs> Where's the accountability? <laughs> <laughs> YOLO guys, YOLO, my bad. <laughs> man, like, like, for reals, for sh- like, yeah. for real. While he's eating a sandwich, you know what I mean? For reals, guys. Where's the accountability? <laughs> I don't see any accountability. They We're still BFFs? Fuck up all the time. BFFs. We're still BFFs. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make sense, man. I'm just interested in what's going to happen now with that fucking voting form that I put in. Because I returned it saying, here, take me to court. I want to see if they actually go to court over it. Because that's taxpayer money that's p- provided a job. I'll go to court. Hey, There's nothing better to do. You'll get a paddling. <laughs> yeah. You'll that's get a paddling. paddling. That's paddling. All that shit. <laughs> Dude, all that shit out the window. Seriously. Didn't vote. Not paying for it. You know what we're going to do? Not paying you a fool. You know what, man? <laughs> Not paying your phone. That's paddling. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about how we would do it. Because, hey, listen. Obviously, none of us have gone to law. Like, none of us are like lawyers. And we're yeah. not... And we're not right. claiming to be. Yeah, we haven't read into, like, the, you know, <laughs> policies. Stay, stay too long in your car spot. That's a bad <laughs> You can even say it. That's bad then. We just, dude, in our office, if that's not right, there's just a paddle up on the, on the glass behind the glass. Like, why? Because that's bad. That's a bad then. <laughs> Asking questions. That's a bad <laughs> You know what I want? Uh, what I, my, uh, sorry, I just want to get into Parliament for this reason, man. True. I want someone to say to me, I want to be yelling at someone and someone to say, you're out of order. I'm like, no, you're out of fucking order. <laughs> and it's like, get him out of here. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that has to be done. <laughs> Seriously, man. Like, obviously we're not politicians as in we haven't, Looked into the whole legal sense of it. But we haven't gone to study because we can't afford it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I couldn't be a private eye for 2K. I'm going to be a fucking politician. Yeah. Right? But I was thinking about how we would implement our party into the whole system, right? What I was thinking about was integrating like an overseer uh, that just audits yeah. all this shit from the ground up. Like the way you have like a, a, a what's it called? An accountant audit like your, yeah. your accounts. You know, when you send an independent yeah. financial like advisor or whatever, and they just audit everything, yeah. it's like, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. What the fuck? Why are you paying this and this? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If someone's embezzling money in your company, you want to find out where the, leak end, the leaky end is, yeah. and you plug it. That's what we'd be doing, essentially. We'd be fucking overseeing and auditing all the bullshit and say, How, why the fuck is this going on when it doesn't have to be? Explain. Yeah. Please explain. Please fucking explain. And you just, like, who are you, man? Like, what do you do here? How much are we paying you? Nah, it's rubbish. You don't need that much money. Not to do that. I do the paddling. (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 literally. That's how I've been looking at it, man. Because clearly we're not going to be sitting there making... I reckon they all deserve (laughs) paddlings. Yeah, no, no, first 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 order of business, just line up everyone. (laughs) (laughs) What's going on? Everyone's getting a paddling. <laughs> <laughs> just thousands of bare ass cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. Or he was... <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Jonathan Brown to do it, man. A mass yeah. paddling. Just paddling guns. <laughs> <laughs> we Jonathan <laughs> Brown and Michael Voss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get my paddling with his Brisbane jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, boy? Oh, we're going to get the paddle. <laughs> That's a paddling. <laughs> <laughs> That's a motto. <laughs> Why? Because that's bad. It's <laughs> of the whole company, man. The whole parliament thing. I don't know. Look, I don't know about you guys, but I, honestly, I've been looking into it, and it makes fucking sense, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper. Motivation? That's bad. They should be afraid of the motivation. <laughs> you know when you go to offices and you see, like, yeah, yeah. planes and mountains? Yeah, fair. Motivation? <laughs> We're going to frame that. That's our motivation. That's bad. <laughs> 
old yellow. Like, just a big fucking plank. <laughs> it's like a cricket bat, man. One of the original cricket bats. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> just thick. Yeah. Thick bit of timber. It's just Aussie hardwood. Like, just oh, the man, they've done, all the, they've done all the memes for it. Just a red gum, man. <laughs> just a slap. Yeah, man. <laughs> they've done all these memes for it, man. You paid for a, a seat on a United flight? <laughs> that, that's bad. <laughs> Back talk? That's bad. Yeah, man. Nah, we're nah, wearing man. t-shirts. <laughs> that's a bad look. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> nah, fuck them. All right. Well, yeah. So hey, we're doing it. So, so um, again, yeah, let's reiterate for everyone. Um, we really want please, everyone... Please give us some money. <laughs> <laughs> we really need it right yeah. now. We're only going to be able to get up and running because I don't have any money. I don't know about you guys, but I'm poor. I'm broke as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. Um, I've got a little bit of extra these days, but not much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that. you're saving for your sex doll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that costs money, man. That's no, no, not I need free. That. I need <laughs> no, it's it's not it's not a it's a necessity. Yeah, it's, you won't be able to, you won't be able yeah. to function at full capacity without your sex no. doll. No, <laughs> I will not. It's like a non-negotiable. Like no, that's sex dolls. Where are these yeah. sex dolls coming in from, by the way? Japan, fan. <laughs> <laughs> Made by Tamagotchi Company. Yeah, <laughs> well, I didn't have time to watch a documentary, but there's like two, there's two, <laughs> there's two competing guys yeah. for like trying to make the best doll at the moment. Two creepy fucking. Oh, they'd be fucking seedy dudes, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah. mm. Get a photo of them. I'm telling you. All right, wait, I'll find it. Dave, this is your domain, the sex doll industry. <laughs> oh, I want to go to Parliament, man. It's gonna be sick. I reckon we can. Do- it's just. We need to come up with more of these fucking um, yeah, policies, policies and stuff, man. We will. We'll come up with a whole... Have you seen the part... The we'll, we will write a thesis. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> th- Prince Arthur said it to me. He goes, oh, you know, the um, the shooters and... Uh, well, what's, what's that party? The shooters and something? Yeah, there's a, there's a shooters party. There's a motorist enthusiast party. Yeah. Have you seen the policies for the motorist enthusiast the party? sex doll party. You're fucked. Oh, there's already the sex- Australian sex party. Yeah. Yeah, dude, the um, motorist enthusiast party. Hang on. Uh... Enthusiast party. You're picturing old statue dudes with driving gloves, are you? Yeah. All like V8 bogan, like uh, petrol heads, man. All driving Brocky's car. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? VK Brock. This is the, welcome to the AMEP, yeah? The Australian Motoring Enthusiast Party. This is a party for motoring enthusiasts and like minded people who believe in the right to enjoy their chosen lifestyle. <laughs> the success of the AMEP. and darts and rubber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, the Denny Muster. <laughs> should, be a national, should be a national holiday. Yeah, man. Yeah. Denny Muster and like a trip to Calder every yeah. fucking six weeks. Yeah. Okay, the, the success of the AMEP on a federal level has opened doors to negotiations which have previously, previously been unavailable to us. The unity displayed by our community has sent a clear message that motoring enthusiasts are an important part of the social and economic fabric of this country and must be respected. Thanks to the calling of a double dissolution election, Amy P. Senator Ricky Murr only got to serve two of his six-year term. And with the changing of the rules, it makes it near impossible for small parties like the Amy P. to win a Senate seat. Dude, it's literally... There you go. Here are the two dudes for this party. What? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Cliff and John. Robbo. <laughs> <laughs> Robbo and Kevo. Hey, please make a donation to the Amy P. It's exactly like our, our site would be fucking set up. Interesting Senate results. The last update was last year in August. So that's, that's slack. Okay, core values. Okay, do you want to see the core values? <sighs> core values, yes? What's this for? The motor party. This is the AMEP. Burn rubber. Okay? They seek to preserve <laughs> Australian family values and the motoring enthusiast lifestyle whilst encouraging a sense of community and personal responsibility. Oh, my God. We believe in the people of Australia. We believe in minimal government interference. We believe in equality and justice for all before the law. We believe in personal responsibility. We believe in freedom of association and assembly. We believe in in democracy and the preservation of democracy. We believe in a sense of family. We believe in mateship and community. We believe in freedom of speech. We believe in robust national security. We believe in hand ups, not hand outs. Because they've all got fucking free coin to spend on their fucking statos. Are these cunts on you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when I was part of the R31 club, I don't know about you, man, but I've been like, I've been part of car clubs. A good portion of the fucking mob 
we're all on like doll pay amounts of work, working black paying jobs. Yeah, totally. With cheap ass mods on their cars, yeah. man. Like all their money went to their car. Cable tires and home jobs. Yeah. yeah. And whatever money they had went to either booze or petrol. Huh. No sense of family or fucking responsibility or whatsoever. N- or neon lights. If your car, if your life is literally dictated yeah, by a car, if your life is dictated mm-hmm. by a car, then you're in trouble. Th- <laughs> you're in trouble. If, you, if you're going to start a political party based on a car, you're a fucking idiot. See, we're starting one on the basis of people. We All believe the people. that the well-being of Australians is foremost. As opposed to who? The well-being of, like, un-Australians? Yeah. Or foreigners? What's your point? What they're saying is probably anyone that lives here is an Australian. Do you know what this sounds like? It sounds like Rise Up Australia, but they all spend their money on cars. Statos. Seriously. <laughs> Meanwhile, Johnny's got a fucking picture of a robot bending over. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I'm not even joking. Dude, listen to this. We take pride in our vehicles. We take pride in our nation, and we promote the notion of a fair f- go for all. How about you take pride in your home so and take as- pride of your family and, and the well-being of... Then what about the car as a last resort? A car is, ut- is utility. Which totally pollutes the environment as well, those big VA guzzlers. <laughs> Dude, like, okay, look yeah. this way. Would you say we're car enthusiasts? Us, us three. I am. I, I like... You can appreciate... Absolutely. I, I, I like a fine-looking car, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I love seeing the old cars and all that, but I wouldn't go spend all my money on... I haven't got money to spend on a car. Yeah. Would you say you're a motoring enthusiast? Yeah. Okay. Do you know when I was a motoring enthusiast? When I lived at home and I had fucking money to burn... Mm. And I was a teenager. Maybe I'll get something for the car this week. Like, we'll see if I... If I yeah. You know. Like, my... A new gear knob, perhaps. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. A red, red back gear knob. Yeah, I, I, wore, I, I wore the down... The Yeah, I wore down the other one. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> why would you start a party based on motoring? Like, that's... That's the, the way, like, the country should be run. Because all you need is your V8 and the open road. Yeah. <laughs> and Seriously. Dude, a car should get you to and from work in its fucking... Like, most base role. Shouldn't be number one. You know what priority. we're going to do? All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to do a fundraising thing, and we're going to do a sausage sizzle. Ooh. Yep. Fuck Bunnings, their sausage sizzle. Dude, we're doing one. this is a joke. We'll do something like that. We'll do a fundraiser, and all, all we have to raise is that minimum whatever, and the rest we'll give to give Salvation Army. We'll give something to, yeah, we'll just give it to, like... You'll probably get tax on that too. That's peddling. <laughs> Mate, yeah, that's I'm peddling. reading I'm reading more of this crap. It's such a joke. We seek to promote unity, respect, lifestyle within Australia, politics in the local community, as well as within the motoring enthusiast community. We what will not mean? support legislation or public debate that is divisive or disrespectful. <sighs> we believe in personal responsibility and a fair go for all. It's exactly just reiterating like it, it, what they said before, but in a paragraph and not dot points. Yeah. We have a willingness to carefully consider advice from experts and those with first-hand knowledge of specific issues. Uh, all you know is your fucking V8. Like, what else do you know? That does it. Like, what does it say? Like, think. Okay, think about it like this. Yeah. If I said to you that I'm going to run for prime minister or president, oh, what do you call in your party? Uh, I'm calling it the codeine and uh, vanilla vodka party. The Rikinen party? Yeah. <laughs> I like. Why? <laughs> I like. Yes, I'm bored. Yeah, he's got the flag. He's got the hat with my face on it. <laughs> the, the board, the vote the, one the for Rikinen. <laughs> right? How fucking ridiculous. If your banner, if your whole creed is you want to protect like your right to Rikinen. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I will swig when these I want. These idiots, <laughs> these fucking idiots, <laughs> their whole mantra is protecting the motoring enthusiast lifestyle. What lifestyle? You're either a starchy old cunt that bought a vintage car or has had a vintage car because that's the only car he's ever had and he's doing it up. And you have driving gloves. Yeah. Or you're some fucking rev head in your fucking mid-40s to early 50s. Burning rubber and... Yeah, yeah. that's smashed out a few kids and now it's Having like, you know... Having some Jim Beams and the boys. Yeah, I was going to say Jim Beams. <laughs> white. Jim white. Beam white. Yeah, white. White. Can't Draft. have the black hands no, no, because no. They're, uh, they're too precious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, for the, they're for the special occasion. Yeah. Me, me and the missus have the, you know, the dinner. The anniversary. The anniversary dinner. When, when the weekend, the kids go out. Yeah. Bust yeah. out a black beam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doll, that's the... Uh... Yeah, but did you know what I mean? <laughs> too right. Dude, how does it make any sense? Like, okay, in in retrospect, that their website has got nothing. No, there's no value. There's there's nothing there other than we believe in mateship and a fair go. All right, that's that's great, man. Who does? That's the Australian way. Yeah, that's not just anyone's way. At least, dude, the Australian sex party. Have you looked in the positive? The Australian sex party. 
They're pro-life, <laughs> pro-cannabis. He just saw sex. So he just <laughs> voted. <laughs> if you go to their website, <laughs> if you go to their website, yeah, they're they actually, actually quite clear-cut yeah. policies on what their stances are. Very informative. Are they're very and what they're going for. These cunts believe in the no. Ha- we believe in hands up, not hands out. That's that, 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 that's great, man. That, that doesn't actually tell me anything about you, cunts. All I've seen is motorist enthusiast party. Johnny's going to do a breakaway so, at the paddling party. Yeah. <laughs> so you all drive cars. Okay, that, punishment. That's great. <laughs> No, 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 does it doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to talk about this. Really if you go to Paul no. Hansen's One Nation party, it's stupid. They've even got it's policies, though. Gra- grammatically, it's fucking inaccurate. Yeah. But it says, we believe this against migrants, we believe this against Halal, we believe this, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. They gave me nothing. No. How is there not a party like ours? Or like You know why? Because they've been... The people have been waiting for people like us. They yeah. have. They They've seriously have. Just Honestly, so if I'm even joking. If fucking retards can get on a ballot, then how come we can't? I mean, we're getting on the ballot. I want to see yeah. our fucking name on the ballot, man. We're getting on there. I, Prince Arthur told me to look up their website. Just to, he goes, if these idiots can get on, like, surely you guys... It should give you some confidence. You know why? Both. You know why some people will be like, they've got the ideas, but they just don't want to step forward. Maybe like, no, maybe, you know, fuck that. We're doing it. Yeah. There's no... Yeah. I, I don't know about you fellas, man, but... We're doing the fight. We we're fighting need, the good we fight. We need to brainstorm. We need to brainstorm yeah. more ideas. No, we need to catch up for, like, lunch. What did the form... <laughs> on the taxpayers? Because <laughs> I didn't actually look at the forms. I didn't really look at that much. I just printed it out. Just, okay. We need to just register our names, um, who's in the party, some policies, blah, 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 blah. Policies is interesting. And then they'll, then they'll review it. Yeah, but if this... If this... If these are their policies... Uh, yeah, man. We believe in a fair go. And, and the, the main thing we've got to do is come up with the 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> we just need your money. I reckon they look at the form like, 500 bucks? Yeah, done. <laughs> they just they throw it in the till? Like, yeah, it's yeah. fine. They put these idiots in the ballot. <laughs> 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 just a cash register shutting that. A little do they know there's an uprising yeah, there is. coming. There is. Honestly. Like, honestly. Like, you, I was thinking about it. What, what would you want our, um, our name to be? Our, our actual party? We would have to do some brainstorming I right thought, there. Yeah, I was thinking about, I seriously would have died if we had National Socialist, that's not right party. <laughs> the Nationalist <laughs> Socialist. So even though we're not either, we're either of them. <laughs> the Big Dick Party. <laughs> the Semi-Commie. The Semi-Commies. Three Big Dicks. Enus Party. <laughs> Enus. The P. Enus Party. <laughs> we can't have any, um, any... A. Dot Nuss. <laughs> party. <laughs> <laughs> Can I show you this guy that invented the sex robots? <laughs> yeah, man, he's been hanging on this for 20 minutes. <laughs> Firstly, I'll give you this first picture. Imagine this wrinkly latex mannequin thrusting away on top of you. You'd love it. What the hell is that? Like an early prototype, which is completely horrifying. True? Yeah. Wow. And then have a look at the guy that's created this one. Is that does not like he look exactly like how you'd picture? Yeah. <laughs> That's some fucked up He's shit. He's one of the leading designers. <laughs> look at his face! Right? Just look at his face! And then. You know, he's looking, he's like, yeah, I smashed it. <laughs> so the name of his doll is Roxy with a triple X. Uh huh. <laughs> How original. Roxy's features include voice acted sexual responses and a look of abject horror on her face. Look at the, look at the expression on the doll's face. Yeah. She, she looks like she's getting drilled in somewhere she doesn't want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can see what that kind of what he's like. Like he uh, look at his face, yeah. Yeah. and he made a doll with a horrified look on his face. He's got the serial killer look. He's holding the doll's hand. No, no, no. I, he's got a serial killer look. Dude, it's not a look of enjoyment. It looks it's a like look the of guy horror. from um, what was that movie? The one with um, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, uh, Zodiac. Yeah, he looks like. He looks like the Zodiac killer. Oh, the yeah. Zodiac killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's probably easy. Well, to, to make a sex doll that has that comes with a sec, with a horrified look on her no face. No pun intended. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty fucking twisted. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, Johnny's like Johnny. You put an order in. What are you talking about? I don't want the horrified look. You want you want the sweet bubblegum look, don't you? You know what yeah, gets like, me though? Yeah. How much how much money? <laughs> yeah. How much money do you reckon he's invested, or multiple parties have invested in the development of the sex doll? I reckon heaps. Look it up, man. Fuck this. I reckon heaps, man. I'll, I'll do. There's I'll a lot of pervs out there, like Johnny. No, there are. I'm, I'm joking. Hang I'm joking. on. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up. No, no, no. But it's a big industry. Think about it. It's a massive industry. I'm gonna get some facts. Just calm down. <laughs> just calm down. Just calm down. Because what, <laughs> what they're what they're what they're saying is, it's don't like jump out of your pants quite yet, mate. Calm down. Battling. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like AI in a way, in that. It will stop people reproducing, therefore being a demise to the human race. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because yeah. people are just going to be... If your doll can satisfy you better than a human can, you're right. just going to have a doll, fuck that, and not reproduce. Like All right, but... Saying. 
I'm different. I just I just wouldn't fuck a doll. <laughs> yeah. That's just not my yeah. style. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know but, what I mean? But, but would many people when do you go think, for that option? No, no, yeah. When do you think sex dolls were first invented? I reckon the 50s. Um, uh, Mr. Mr. Jeggings over there. It's probably it's probably in Greece in 247 BC. <laughs> Can I get a response from uh, the far right over there with Mr. Bobby? You know I don't like these guessing games because I never fucking get it right. I'm way off. Okay. First sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> Bush Ranger times no. <laughs> Colonials. Colonials. Well, maybe fifties or Colonials in the boat it. possibly. Hmm. You ready? It's going to be really early. It's yeah, really it's, early. It's, probably, it's probably... It's going to be from BC. Ming Dynasty yeah. fucking Ho Ching Shu. <laughs> Some of the first sex dolls were invented by Dutch sailors in the 17th century. There you go. Who would be isolated at sea during long voyages. Ah, uh, the, the Dutch rudder. The Dutch rudder. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the, the Dutch, Dutch rudder. <laughs> These masturbatory dolls referred to, to by the French as uh, Dame de Voyage and by the Spanish as Dama de Viage. Uh, we're made of sewn cloth or old clothes, and we're a direct tool. predecessor to today's sex dolls. What's the translation of that French word? The, the d- d- dames of the voyage or the sea. Dames of the voyage, yeah. nice. So women, women of the... the, the trip. Sluts of the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty much. The Dutch <laughs> sold some of these dolls to Japanese people during the uh, Rangiku period, <laughs> oh and the term ju- Dutch wives is still sometimes used in Japan to refer to sex dolls. One of the earliest recorded appearances of a manufactured sex doll dates to 1908, in uh, some dude's book. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He just... He just in Illinois. Shit. Yeah, Parisian rubber articles or some shit. Full bit of knowledge, man. I did not know that. Hang on. A report Dirty that Dutch. as part of the Borgold <laughs> project, Nazi Germany made sex dolls for soldiers during World War II. Has not been verified by reliable sources. Now considered to be a hoax. Uh, well, sure we you know, seen. I'm disappointed in you being a sex doll enthusiast. Yeah, and then in the 70s... Why? Um, <laughs> why? In the 70s... <laughs> uh, all the, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, vinyl, latex, silicon, yeah. you know, all that sort of shit's taken off. It's a very interesting topic, like, because when you think about it, it's it's pretty full on, like. <laughs> Dude. Like in, you're fucking a robot. In 1982, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, 19, a 1982 attempt to import a consignment of sex dolls into Britain had the unintended consequence of ending the law against importing obscene or indecent items that were not illegal to sell within the UK. <laughs> That's funny, man. Some dude took it all the way to court and won. <laughs> Britain was forced to lift its stringent uh, import pr- prohibitions dating back from 1876. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> funny. Oh, Some should I try to, to doll. fuck this doll if yeah. I want to? Some guy tried to bring, bring a doll in. That's fucked, man. She's um, more than a doll, I tell you. She's Super. my love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gifts, heavy vinyl, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the most expensive dolls, approximately 1200 bucks and up, are made from silicon. And you and usually above three grand at 2016. Well, I think prices. this is one. Of, I think this. You're like ten grand. I think this picture here is one of those. Look at that one. That's fucked, dude. Dim. That's probably not finished though, dude. Dimmy. Oh my god. Is that God. a horror show? That's or probably what? not finished though. Dude, that looks like uh, Leatherface from fucking <laughs> yeah. Chainsaw Man. <laughs> That's it, just, it just says a sex robot from the show My Sex Robot. That's the documentary I was going to watch. Oh my god. And now I might actually watch it. I'm pretty fascinated now. Yeah. Was it? Oh, so this is Dwight Schrute from The Office. They're, like, they're, they're making a comparison when he put that thing on his face. Oh. I don't know if you watch The Office, but it's I do, I do. fucking hilarious. That's fucked. You got any better ones? But this must be one of the cheap ones, Dim. It's yeah. like a, it's got like a wrinkly skin, like a wrinkly skin of latex, and it's just like gyrates on top of you. Dude, that's creepy because you'd walk into your house knowing that you live by yourself and walk into the room and see that thing. I'm just gonna, just gonna shit out of me. Not if, you, not if you sex like robots. That. Here we go. There's a main article. That's all we need because we we're looking up sex dolls. What if you what if yeah, anthrop- no, 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 anthropomorphic be... robot sex dolls? As of 2017, although there are no fully functioning sex robots yet, oh. such a, such a technology is believed to be near future possibility, and there is controversy as to whether developing it would be morally justified. Exactly, that's what this documentary is, man. It's like two dudes in the race to make like the best one, so they haven't actually, yeah. I believe uh, some dude, uh, David Levi, the chess champion and author of Love and Sex with Robots. Oh, he's a chess champion, but somehow he's also into sex dolls. Hmm. <laughs> it's a little you creepy. See him playing chess by himself and just yeah. sitting at the other end of the table. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he'll play chess with his sixth doll. Yeah. Uh, he said in an interview. Get any at school while I believe that loving. Club. That's right. I believe that loving sex robots will be a great boon to society. There are millions of people out there who, for one reason or another, cannot establish good relationships. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, and it talks about that sex doll Roxy, a capacity to play back re- uh, pre-recorded speech cues. 
Tr- demonst- oh yeah! Demonstrated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> demonstrated harder. harder. <laughs> jinx, jinx, jinx. <laughs> it was demonstrated at a Put trade show. <laughs> Dude, how could you demonstrate these things? De- how could you demonstrate these things at a sex uh, at a trade show? Whip just whip it out. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the cat, the World Fair. <laughs> this is like the old time. <laughs> 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 Sure, this creepo here wouldn't have any fucking qualms. They argue, that guy looks like a mass murderer. They argue that the introduction so of scary. such devices would be socially harmful and demeaning to women and children. What do you think? Like, what are your thoughts on it? Is it just straight up creepo? Fuck that, or do you think there's like some room for it, or what? Dude, seriously, what? we want to be promoting healthy interaction between human beings. Yeah, we sh- we should be promoting healthy interaction with human beings, man. Okay, so let me say, what about those hermit types that are like really like introvert, like can't have a proper relationship with a woman? Like, go think- seek help, or go to fucking a group where you're surrounded by other introverted hermit types. There are clubs for everything, and have weird introverted hermit sex. Yes. Oh. Uh. Um. <laughs> Sit in a room and blow in your pants. Who cares? <sighs> I'm just saying, there's fucking help for, for whatever avenue. There are groups for everything out there now, man. You want a book club? There's a group. You want to be in a masturbatory club? There's a group. You want to be in a vegan club? There's a group. Oh, well, I knew he looked like a mass murderer. I was reading a documentary the other week about mass murderers. Yeah. <laughs> and, all right. Here we and, go. And there's a guy that killed 10 people in Sedgwick County. In between 74 and 91, called the BTK Killer. Yeah, BTK, man. Bl- uh, blind, torture, kill. Oh, I swear they're related. Oh, they look very yeah, similar. Dude, yeah, dude, that, that's blind, torture, kill. Yeah. Blind, like torture, you. kill? That, yeah, he was fucked. T- r- tell me about him, man. The BTK <laughs> Killer. <He was> <laughs> look it up. He was, <laughs> he was fucked. No, no, it was pretty sickening. It's like... Uh, I can kind of gather what he did from well, that <laughs> from his name. Well, yeah, no, no, so, no. So both of you are on the stance of no sex dolls, no robot sex dolls. Because I mean, it's, it's I'm not against it's gonna, it. It's but I'm not against it, but I personally wouldn't like. This is what kills. I've me. got a wife. <laughs> I'm yeah, married. Okay. No, this is what kills I'm me. Just saying, the, it's not just him developing a sex robot. Like the intricate technology behind the sex robot would be pretty incredible, because it'd be realistic. Yeah. Ultra realistic. It'd respond to like being uh, like agitated, touched, like all that sort of shit. So there'd be sensors all over this fucking thing. Yeah. Which is creepy, though, because it's not a human. Yeah, right? It's, so it's it's ultra AI. But the fact that this idiot is investing time and money into making this doll... Dude, use that talent to fucking do something positive, man. Like something positive to benefit mankind. If you've got the ability to... Inv- okay, but you can say, I think it would benefit so many people. Who? Like those people that can't have relationships that I talk no, about. No, it wouldn't benefit them, man. It'd just make them more on fucking edge. It, it drive their lunacy and their isolation to another level when the fact that they'd snap and go out and do something extreme. And if anything, man, like that, that's it's not helping a, a, an issue. If it's a sociological issue you have, that's not helping anything. That's just nursing it. That's just nursing it. Mm. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> nah, dude. Because if you're gonna, if you need a sex robot. Like, because you have someone that's so awkward with women, right? Like, they can't approach go, women. Go, go to a brothel. Go. So Dude, instead of, I was, instead I was of, awkward with women. All right, but instead of turning into, like, some psycho, like, stalker rapist, you can just go get a sex doll. Yeah, and then it's and a sex robot. A sex then robot. Then they become obsessed with this sex robot, start fantasizing shit, creating scenarios, and then suddenly see someone outside that resembles the fucking sex robot. And every robot. woman is a and sex robot. And then every robot. woman suddenly becomes a sex robot to them, man. You think so? Yeah. It happens, man. Like, if you're that far gone in your head, where you're that introverted, where you can't talk to but anyone... That face, man. Yeah, it's fucked up. You're telling me he hasn't... <laughs> had... He's fucked. Just look at him. Yeah, he's fucked. And he made a horror face for her. Yeah. Like, she's in, she's in pain. Yeah, that's fucked up. Uh, come on, man. Like, I wouldn't buy the horror face model. Like, Do you know what I think, dude? <laughs> Do you know what I think about? Like, the last week... Like, even last night, man, I was reading about Nazi Germany. I was reading about, um... Uh, <laughs> Seriously, he's been reading about Nazi Germany a lot lately. No, has, has Johnny been giving you his propaganda? And his spiel, <laughs> his spiel? Look into my blue eyes, Dimitri. No, no. <laughs> I was reading about um, Ilsa Ko- uh, yeah. Koch. Yeah, right. She was basically the wife of um, a, a commandant in uh, one of the in Nazi concentration camp uh, Majinek and uh, Buchenwald, right in uh, Poland. And she was considered like she was the bitch of Buchenwald. She was fucked. Yeah. And um, there was a lot of controversy around her. She ended up killing herself in a cell at like 60 years old. Her husband was killed on site, you know, in, just after World War II, right? 
And I was reading about them, and I was reading about, like, different Nazi commanders, and I was just going through history and just looking at different people, mm. like, you know, uh, civil rights activists, some serial killer, just random pockets. And I thought, man, it's 2017, and I'm sitting here reading about the life and times of, like... Some people, guy's wife. Yeah, like 80 <laughs> years ago, you know, yeah. just random individuals. And then just, there's a whole lot of other, there's a whole lot of list of like other people, man. Like you know, recent things, um, I was reading about the Seb Slater, which is a gun uh, built in the World War Two. Then I was reading about like Dick Gregory, that fucking comedian in the States. And I was just like kept going. Like I was reading about Swaziland. Like, it was a joke that I cracked with the mm. boys at work. Just different people, yeah. And I thought this is all their claim to fame, or like this is their notch in history. As in, did they ever think in the forties that some dickhead? in Noble Park was going to be looking up this person mm. and just reading. It's like reading about their life, man. Like mm. if you go to the cemetery and just pick out a random tombstone, get the name and then look up their history. Mm-hmm. Like you can, mm-hmm. if you go to find my, find a grave on the, on the net, you can, like I was reading about, um, Nazi war criminals and just heroes through time, even Nazi war criminals, right? They went missing after mm. or during the war. And I was going to find a grave or just doing a search online. And it was pulling up like the statistics where they were buried and gives a little bio on them, and I'm just thinking about, like, Jesus, this person went from here, moved to here, grew up in there, went to here. Like, what's everyone's fucking story? Mm. This fucking freak, his story is he grew up, was socially awkward, so he created a sex robot so he could sit at home and plow. Mm-hmm. All that, that genius, that tech savvy, has gone into a sex robot. That's his little staple for society. Like, what are we doing? We're just trying to survive, yeah? Mm. As in, we're doing a podcast, and you know what? At some point in the next five years, or like, if anyone asks me, like, do you tell people, like, about this podcast? Yeah. I'm fucking proud of it. Yeah. Like, it's, I'm fucking proud. Like, actually, this morning, Ren got a message from one of her friends, Lauren, and she goes, man, she goes, all she wrote was, the, the, she goes, the fucking podcast is fucking hilarious. Like, as in, it's awesome. Like, it's yeah. great. And Ren right. woke me up to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to sleep. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like, I'm cool. fucking That's proud cool. of it. Yeah. Because for me, I mean, Johnny, you've only been, you've been doing media, like, this is a form of media, right? It's been on for a year. I've been doing media since I was fucking 11. Do you know what I mean? And this is a combination of, like, a lot of shit for me. Like, the music production, all the music you hear on it is, like, stuff I've produced, the audio engineering, half the stories we talk about, man, it's either, like, back in the day or, like, our experiences mm. through work. It's all, it's all us, yeah. right? This, this podcast is all us, and I'm fucking proud of it, right? Warts and all. Warts and fucking all, right? And if anyone looks at it now and looks at our resumes and says, hey, you guys are doing that fucking podcast, it's pretty funny. I'd be like, yeah, man, that, that's part of me. If I, if we go tomorrow, in the obituary, it'd have this podcast as like the last legacy. Hashtag yeah. that's not right. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's for something good. Yeah, it's something positive, and yeah. I'm actually proud of that. Like, yeah. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. This fucking idiot, if I had half, this guy has got the time and resources to create, develop a sex robot? Dude, there are probably invalids that would benefit limbs. greatly. From AI limbs. Yeah, AI limbs, or an invalid woman, that need, like an old grandmother that needs help around the fucking yeah. house. He could easily develop a fucking robot to fucking help out with heavy lifting or fucking chores or seeing eyes for the blind or something. He doesn't care about that. He, he doesn't care. care. He wants he to cares about a robot fucking box. robot. Yeah. yeah. And that's what he, cares, he cares about his sexual needs or whatever. Like you're a fucking idiot. It's like <laughs> our self. Like, are you serious? Yeah, totally. He's got, he's got the smarts and the finance. Yeah. To build a robot. Yeah. It's like you're out of your fucking mind. I'm all for human beings doing th- just amazing things for the fuck of doing amazing things. But that's fucked. That is fucked. That that's sick. That is like, dude, you need help. You need help. You took you took the flashlight to another level, man. <laughs> oh, that's like. Yeah. yeah, that's ancient history now. Yeah, seriously, what's the motivation behind that, man? He just wants to fuck all the time. Probably doesn't get laid. Yeah, I, I need to watch a documentary. Yeah, I'm What's guessing it it's just for uh, my sex doll, my, sex, my, oh, se- my sex robot, my sex robot. Yeah. is called because I have sex dolls, but oh. yeah, sex dolls have been around forever. And Robots, like, dude, sex dolls level. are gag gifts. They're a gag gift that a hands or a box or yeah. you know some shit. They're a joke. They're a fucking joke. Who do you know? Who do you honestly know? Do you know anyone's ever admitted to owning a blow up doll? That they, they use regularly? To have as something they yeah. use regularly? Uh, no. No, I don't. I'm well, was sure it made in 2011? There would be people. There would be people. There's a, but I guarantee you a, a big a big amount of the sales come from just gag gifts. Like just, uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. For I think me, we'd probably, yeah, we'd probably be surprised how many people actually do have sex dolls and like talk to them and dress them up and stuff and fuck them. 
Every time you see Dr. Phil and there's some dude with a mannequin that he dresses up and he actually wants to get married to it. That's the kind of guy that'll get a sex robot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. How nutty does he look? Because it's a mannequin. Huh. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> 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 You're telling me he's... At least that's, he's not right. Huh. He's not right. But he's... He's holding that robot, like, he, that doll, like it's his wife. Like yeah. It's his full... See, he's probably itching for a sex robot to come out. He probably can't wait, because now it moves. Do you think it's because he can't have a normal relationship with someone? Probably. Meant, like, if he was to have a normal relationship with someone, do you reckon he'd get rid of the doll? It's called truecompanion.com. Dude, I... Get I, on it, Johnny. <laughs> get on it. That's Johnny's a- already on it. He's got, like, a subscription and shit. Think about it like this, Yeah. Have you ever heard about, like, these wedding ceremonies where people are marrying cows and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, they do it like it's happened in Malaysia or something, or, like, in the... Uh, yeah. Like, it's weird, like, just random... Yeah. Off, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. How nutty do they seem? Mm. That's fucked up. <laughs> now, think about it, yeah? These people fall in love with cows or, like, animals, right? It's like, I want to marry my dog. Okay. Is that much sicker or, uh, like, nutty than someone wanting to fucking marry a sex doll? At least the animal is a living, breathing organism which can fucking show empathy and, uh, you know, appreciation. Oh. As in, like, you, you come home from work and your dog jumps on you and, like, licks your face because it can't wait to see you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But that's like, it's a living... Be- I'm not saying... I'm not promoting bestiality, but then yeah, who's, that, yeah. who's fucking sicker? Someone falling in love with an inanimate object in place of a real person? Yeah. Who's dressing up and fucking, like, putting clothes on and shit? I'd say they're both very twisted scenarios. Oh, they're both fucked. In their own right. Dude. And it depends if you're fucking the animal or not. Because if you are, then that's more twisted. Yeah, dude, say. they're both fucked. A hundred percent, I agree. I'm not promoting bestiality. I'm just saying, like, how can you defend either one of them? Uh. They're both nutty. Uh. In that sense, they're both fucking nutty. And what, what we're going to harbour fucking and, like, coddle introv- socially introverted people and we're going to build sex robots for them to allow them somewhere to f- fulfil, like, some sick fantasy? Mm. Get a job with them. <laughs> what? You get a job with them. Jonathan Wayne. On their website, they've got careers. <laughs> we True. need workers now. <laughs> Just <laughs> And a competitive salary based on experience. Experience or what? Banging, banging sex dolls <laughs> or banging people? Probably a little Dude, bit of both. You'd walk in, you'd be a hero to these people. So, uh, you've had sex. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I have. Oh, my God. With, with, Tell with, me more. With, with, with a human being? How did it go? He's the chosen one. Yeah, you become a messiah to these cunts. Now you know how it really feels. And yeah. <laughs> I kind of yeah, so I did have sex with a woman. It was a fantastic story. Let me tell you about it. It was the best 15 <laughs> seconds of my life. <laughs> it was 1978 and I was getting loose down in South Melbourne and I saw someone on the corner. <laughs> I said, do I love? I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> it's on. Seriously. I kind of agree with you, but I kind of don't as well. Like, yeah, I, think, I think they're fucked up and it's well, weird. How but... about watch the documentary and then let us know? Yeah, I just think that there's so many people that would be wanting it because they are of course they, are, bit, or... they are like they can't fit in with society or whatever and if it if it makes if it means they're that they called can... sociopaths man yeah. okay <laughs> so if it means that they can take out whatever fucking weird shit they have in the privacy of their own, mm. in, the, in the privacy of their own home with a doll it seems better than them like yep. unleashing it on society yep. somehow homosexuality and marriage between homosexual couples Legal. is still fucking outlawed and that mm. scene is like against society's conventions but allowing some fucking introverted fuck to maintain a relationship with a fucking robot or a doll, that's fine. And we're not only, like, allowing it, it's like, yeah, here, here you go, develop whatever doll you want. Have fun. That's normal? It's not normal. Okay. And that but... should be harbored? It's like pedophiles living with pedophilia. And they're trying to find ways to fucking coddle or normalize that. That's a, that's not that's not bullshit. That's legit. Mm. Self-confessed pedophiles, but it's that a bit different. Maintain it's, it's a disease, yeah. right? And they want to control it. It's a bit different though because you have other lives involved that can be da- endangered with a robot. It's just like a robot. It's an... other than like he's all he knows is his fucking robot that's subservient. It's like, dude, it's like a bloke coming home to a subservient wife that he's just fucking abused and harassed to become completely subservient. This guy's like ego just takes over and blurs like. His home life with his reality. <clears throat> you know, like, guys that come to work and they fucking, like, just skits out. You know, calm down, champ, before you lose your fucking two front teeth. Mm. But it's because they've got this fucking home life where they're just completely domineering and... Do you know what I mean? Mm. It takes a reality check of just fucking someone finally cleaning him up mm. and he becomes a little bitch and he mm. goes home and takes it out on his missus. It's like these dudes. They go home and there's a fucking robot waiting for him. And he's thrashing. Hi, Johnny. How was your day? 
and just gets to Bend work. Over, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and then he just thinks that's how it, the, the reality just takes over. Like the the fantasy takes over from the reality. Yeah. I'm not saying everyone's like that. I'm just saying it's the highly, possibility. Yeah, it's a high possibility. And Trini's like, oh. just saying. I'm yeah, not saying that's going to yeah. be you, yeah. all right? I'm just saying, like... <laughs> I'm just thinking from their perspective, like, if they... Maybe, like, if they can just do that and that's their outlet, then yeah. just let them be. Like. It's never it's never their outlet, man. And even that is just blurring. It's not just even sniffing, a moral issue, man. Just it's sniffing just like coke a, off the robot's ass and then the just thing, plowing dude. and then going out. Jimmy, how many things? But it's, only, <laughs> <laughs> it's only one person affected in that situation. Like, it's him and that's it. Like, no, it's, it's no, not. There's no one else getting in... Implicated. Tell me the robot doesn't have feelings. <laughs> that's what start having, that's, yeah, that's my whole start point. Having that's my whole point. Robots, the like, independent thought that we have like groups for. Yeah. Oh, let's start our own group. <laughs> Just political sex, party. Yeah. Sex robot group. We've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude. You know what, man? There's a lot of things that happen in life, and as society progresses, we, we find more and more shit. And it's not a religious argument. It's not religiously. Wrong, it's not morally wrong, it's not ethically wrong, it's just fucked up. Simple. There's some things you can't slot into any of those. Oh, that's a, it's politically, uh, you know, it's a biased, or, you know, it's religiously immoral. Nah, it's just fucked. Mm. Just go home and jerk off. <laughs> yeah. Go yeah. home, jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, how long are we going? Uh, three hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> It's already two. Yeah, man. I got shit to do. Man. Can we end it on sex dolls? <laughs> Let's end it on the end. <laughs> it's just that. What was the word? Uh, focus groups of sex dolls <laughs> and help groups of sex robots. I'll watch the doco and we'll pick up this conversation next week. Done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take some notes down. Yeah. Let us know what the, uh, the political what? party. Don't worry about the sex doll. Let us, what, let us know what the freak says. Because <laughs> I need to know if we can pass it or not. You fucking jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jerk off. No, no, we'll call it. Fuck it. Um, yeah, we yeah. have homework to do. Um, yeah, we're going to yeah. fill out all our papers for the political party, and we'll get back to you guys next week with Did the I definitive tell answer. Set up the GoFundMe. I'm positive I told yeah. someone. One of you two. I was doing the paperwork. Look at him. You told me to look into it. <laughs> he just he went to the page, and then you yeah, looked into fine. it. Uh, you said you looked into it. Yeah, no, I looked at like four yeah. different ones. GoFundMe was the best and easiest one, and then you said I'll set it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, all right. Anyway, we'll figure it out. All right, cool. Um, yeah, call it. You can leverage out. Ah, ah, that's that's it. It.